though. Dano, thank you so much for the resub. Let me just... One moment, please. Hi, the Sunwell. Thank you so much for the... 16 months. Oh my god. I... <laughs> that is such a long time. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I am... I am running around like a headless chook. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's full on. It's, it's full on. Um, everything is happening. Day off did not help. Uh, <laughs> but my goodness, my goodness, I cannot wait to share some things with you. But I have to wait because embargoes. <laughs> Fantastic! Is that our first donate? Holy cow! Thank you so much for the donation, dupe. So kind of you. Thank you for contributing to Are You Okay? They do such such important work, uh, and I'm sure that they appreciate you just as much as I do. And not just on charity days, like full on, full on. Well done on first, dupe. Congratulations. Well done on last, Yori. Um, we have the, yes, Tiltify command is active today, as is the timer. So that will pop up on a timer as well. Um, and of course, other side, <laughs> we have the QR code super, super handy up the top there as well, um, in case you want to contribute. Um, the link and the QR code are, of course, shareable to anyone else you think might uh, like to to know about what's going on as well. They don't have to be in stream to be able to contribute. And of course you don't have to be in stream. You don't even have to have any any qualifications to ask, are you okay? To yesterday, yesterday was are you okay day. Um, and it is such an important day. I mean, obviously you can ask, are you okay? Any day of the year, uh, but having a, a day, like a concerted effort to, to raise awareness and to make sure that people know that there are resources there when you need them. Uh, and, and even when you don't need them, when somebody else needs them, there's always support there, uh, no matter what the occasion may be. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of you, most of you will probably know that I myself have uh, quite the history with uh, mental health and issues thereof. Um, and places like, like organizations like Are You Okay, uh, helped me get through it. Um, there, there were a few, like, Are You Okay is a, is a, um, the way I see it personally is kind of, it's, it's a, it's a central location where you can find all these different resources, depending on what you're going through, they can help you find something that's going to work for you in your circumstance. Uh, they have a whole listing of helplines and different websites and, and different resources to support you in how to ask the question um, and how to respond potentially uh, when the question is answered in a way maybe you weren't expecting, uh, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, it just, I, I'm not sure what my life would look like if people hadn't reached out to me. Uh, because especially um, especially here in Australia, we definitely have this kind of culture of, um, you know, shot of concrete, let's get it going, let's, let's get on with it sort of thing. Uh, and um, especially nowadays with this flood of, of social media, um, social media can definitely be a good thing in some ways. Oh my goodness! Tessia! Thank you so much for your contribution. I guess we're going to have to bump up the thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Much appreciated. Um, uh, yeah, like, so, so in these days when we have uh, social media that is constantly uh, on and everyone's sharing the highlights reels of their lives and, and seeing that and kind of feeling like you're not living up to the expectations of where you should be because this is all what these other people have got going around. It's the more interconnected we are, the easier it is to get the help that you need, but also the more difficult it can be to feel like you are where you should be because, you know, everyone's at different points in their lives and all that kind of thing. Um, and so having a resource 
like Are You Okay is super, super important to raise awareness for, you know what, it's okay to not be okay. Uh, and it's okay to answer that question honestly. Uh, you don't have to reply with living the dream, which is, you know, often the call sign of the struggling Australian human. Um, it is okay to be honest when somebody asks you if you are okay. Um, you don't have to spill your guts. You don't have to tell them everything that's going on in your life. Um, but you can let them know that you're not okay. Uh, and, you know, together, teamwork, you can find a resource that will be helpful. They are out there. It's just a matter of getting in contact with them. I'm going to place a unit. All right. Um, oh, no. What am I? Orc Slayer. Let's place an Orc Slayer. Where's this one? Perfection. There. Here. Games. Burning Crusade Time Walking. Who is keen for dungeons? I'm starting on Horde. Uh, I have a couple of... Um, I have a couple of what's it's to go through to grab badges, um, to buy stuff. We're buying stuff today. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna entirely clear out the, wait. No, we are. We're getting everything. We're clearing out the vendor. We're cro no, it, that's Wrath. Gosh, I keep seeing, I keep thinking it's Wrath, but Wrath is later. Wrath is later in the month. Look. Shut up, Sheba. All right. <laughs> I don't have anything I need to purchase from this event. We're just doing it for funsies. Uh, but there are a couple that I need. Uh, no, one. There is one that I actually need more badges on. Otherwise, she's not going to be where she needs to be come the thing. So, Druid. Druid. Uh, who wants to join me? Let me catch up on chat. Good morning, Vorian. Welcome on in. Uh, we do also have the are you okay, uh, literally it's exclamation are you okay uh, command that will pull up the are you okay website and from there you have so many resources to help out. Um, and uh, yeah, if um, you can always just do that uh, in chat or um, I'm sure we can have people just, pay. it's not a timer actually now that I think about it, but you can, I'm sure we can have people ping every so often. Otherwise it's are you okay .org .au. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable speaking in chat because you are a lurker, that's totally okay. You can navigate there yourself to look for resources if you need to. Um, you do not need to become, you don't need to open yourself up to vulnerability to us. If you feel like you need help, you can go and get those resources um, without speaking in chat if you want to, but it is entirely um, up to you guys. Well done, second, well done, second Shiba. Well done, good job. Um, hello, good afternoon, Crom. Welcome back <laughs> by the Sunwell. Oh dear. Good afternoon, Yuri. That was meant to be an anniversary share, not a subscribed. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's totally fine. That's how it works. That's um that's how the anniversary shares work. So if you're on a multi-month, you still get the button to ping the announcement each month. Um and not only that, but if you're a multi-month sub, I actually get paid still my my cut monthly so you save you save some dollars i don't lose any dollars but i do get it spread out monthly which is fantastic because i know a lot of people um can have issues if they got like a whole six month sub paid as a lump sum at the start and then nothing for five months it can hurt income wise so yeah every time i get paid you get a button to share there you go perfect oh, sun well Bit of fun. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Um, love the headman seat. I know. I right, guys, one moment, please. I need to move chair out of the way for this. I present to you, fear the yellow wiggle. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. Like I love this. And yeah, this is this is an are you okay banner. Um. A ban banner, bandana. I missed a syllable in there. Um, it's it's under like there's like logos all over it, but I've like wrapped it up so that I could do the thing, so you can't really see it very well. But it is official branded merchandise, as is the wristband, and it's fabric. It's fabric with a little wooden slidey bead on it, and I think that's phenomenal because the rubber wristbands always, always, always give me like irritation 
not like a, not a rash, but like skin irritation. You know what I mean? Kind of not 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 happy skin, but not rash. Like somewhere in the middle of it. Yeah. So I am living living for this. Um, and there is a merchandise store for IOK okay as well, and uh, all the like proceeds from that does the thing. Um, so yes. If that is something you are interested in, it is available to you as well. Not just to me as a streamer person, you can also access those products also. Um, they had like the uh, caps and all that kind of stuff too. Um, like they also had, um, you know, like the, the Borat style mankini, what's it? Yeah, I have concerns. <laughs> But, I mean, this is the thing, if you're doing an Are You OK event and you're all being ridiculous and silly and, and stuff, or if you can rock that style of swimwear, by all means, no judgment here. But yes, there's so much stuff, and as well as like packs of um, like kits for, for hosting your own Are You OK event at school or work or, or wherever it happens to be, family. Um, so yeah, beautiful stuff. And it's all, of course, in the yellow and black. Uh, <laughs> um, and the headband. Thank you very much. I'm quite liking it too. It's the first time in a long time I've managed to get one to sit right. So I think it's just a really good quality one. It's double layered, but then when I tried to like pull it apart, it's like sealed every so often. I don't know what I I I have no idea. But it's like it's almost like a perforated seal all the way over it, so that it doesn't balloon out and look silly. It's it's such good quality, such te like it feels. Re anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about the thing wrapped around my head. Good. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Duran. Thank you. I also love the headband. Hey, Fia, are you okay? Thank you so much for asking, Sheebs. I am. I am okay. I am a little bit stressed. I am running off a lot of adrenaline. For the last couple of days, I've had a few emails and things that I'm just, like, I'm flailing about <laughs> that I can't tell you about yet, but it's fine. Um, so, but, but every single time I'm, I'm, I have a day where I'm like, oh my gosh, everything is exploding. I am so stressed. And then I sit down and I go live and I remember this is why I'm doing it because I want to do this more. And everything, everything else, it's amazing, fantastic opportunities, getting to do stuff I never thought I would ever be able to do. But this, this right here, and being able to use my platform for, for this stuff, it just, all the stress is worth it. All of it. Every, any, any stress and, and hair pulling and all that kind of, it's just so worth it. So yeah, I'm, I am okay. Are you okay, Shiva? Are you okay? Continue to work. Absolutely, Dunno. Enjoy your lurk. Only advice I'd give though is to be prepared for an answer. You're not expecting when answering. Yes, absolutely. And the beautiful thing is that Are You Okay has a lot of resources around that. Um, it has like whole pamphlets and stuff on, on how to ask and like what to do next. And they have like a whole four step program for like, you know, ask the question, but then listen and, you know, sit down and help them find resources and then check in at a later date. Like that's like, don't just kind of ask the question and be like, cool, you're right, bye. Um, make sure that they're aware that you do care. Like this is, you know, you, you asked because it matters. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Josh. Thank you. History of campaigning for mental health awareness. I do. I do. And, and this, and my history is why. My history is why. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Landa. It's a joy to have you in chat. Thank you for being here. Hello, JD. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Hello, Apathy. Oh, I feel like we're loving the dream comment. In all seriousness, good on you for the OK stop alert. OK, and enjoyed your day off? I did. I very, 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 very much enjoyed my day off. It was fantastic. Um, I got about half as much work as I wanted to get done done. <laughs> um, but it's because other work created itself and that was a higher priority. So that's that's what mattered. 
Um, but no, like the living the dream comment, I don't, I don't at all. And I know you're, I know you're, you know, tongue in cheek when you're saying you feel attacked, but it's, um, it is something that I've definitely noticed once I was in the workforce, like once I was an adult and working adult jobs, especially full-time jobs. Um, it was something that I heard a lot of the blokes say, um, you know, how are you today? Oh, living the dream. And it's, it's, a it's a deflection and well, for a lot of the times for them, maybe it's not, maybe you are living the dream. I know I am. And I'm like, what is going on? But anyway, enough about me. Um, so like having that as like a deflection and not wanting to let people in and things like that. I understand in certain circumstances that that is the safest bet for some people and, and that's understandable, but sometimes it is okay to open yourself up just a touch. And, and let someone say, you know what, I'm not going okay, but I will be. That's, you know, there's, that's okay. You know, <laughs> that, is, that is a valid answer. It's the answer I give a fair, fair bit sometimes. Like if I'm just stressed and exhausted, it's like, I'm not right now. No, I am falling asleep. I am very stressed. Everything is going on and I don't have time to do anything. However, I will be okay because it will work out. And that's, you know, that's okay. Done 10 so far. Well done, Yori. Well done. This is the reason I follow Fia. She's about everyone and really does care. Keep doing what you're doing. Crom, oh, thank you. Thank you. I was actually, um, had a bit of a moment today where, um, cause like as, as a content creator, when you put yourself out here publicly, um, you're opening yourself up to everyone, like everyone and not everyone thinks like we do in our community. And that's, you know, that's valid. Uh, but, and I, I had a thought about, like, there are some people who, like, creators I would watch, I'm talking, like, YouTubers and, 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 like, people who I watched or paid attention to. Channel! Thank you so much for the sub! Oh no, I'm back! <laughs> Wonderful, you're back! Thank you so much for the resub! Welcome back! I hope you are doing wonderfully today. Um... Um, what was I saying? Oh no. Right. Um, sometimes people can do this kind of thing, have this, this beautiful platform that they're, that they're promoting and all that kind of stuff and asking people if they're okay and checking in with them and stuff, but they don't care. Like they, they like, and it's, and you know, it's, it's really, do especially if you're, you know, a, a, a YouTube creator with freaking millions and millions of followers and how, like, how are you how do you care about all those people without being totally crushed by by the weight of of um uh you know the little things that every single one of them is going through but that's that's a lot it adds up and i think it's a really it's a it's a difficult skill and this is one of the reasons why i love that it took me as long as it did to get to this point uh you know I, i've there are so many uh, creators, especially these days throughout COVID who were like went live and then two months later they're partnered and they've got like tons of people, hundreds, thousands of people watching them and all. And I'm like, whoa, boy, I'm, I'm glad that over time I learned how to kind of care about people and check in with them, but also kind of be able to step back and say, I, I've, you know, I've checked in with them, we've chatted and I've, I've handed them over to a resource that I feel like could help. And they're, they are now on their journey to, to seek that assistance and I can step away. Obviously we do the check-in thing a little bit later as well, but I don't let it consume me anymore because early on and yeah, I know I'm waving my arms around a lot. Thank you very much for thinking I've done lots of steps. Um, <laughs> it, early on, it, it can be quite like, you you bond with your viewers and then i especially if you're an empathetic person you take on everything and it's it's rough so as i know we have creators in this community as well be be sure that you're taking care of yourselves as well you know caring about your viewers is a beautiful beautiful thing and it is important and that's how i've managed to to like you know this this trust that we have is through the fact that I care like I actually care like I, I yeah but at the same time remember that you're not there to solve everything this is something I've had a lot of difficulty coming to terms with and it's taken me years but here we are the, the problems and, and issues and and all that kind of stuff that people share with you 
absolutely forward them on to resources, help them find what they're looking for, you know, um, that, that kind of stuff is, is really important. But understand that you are not qualified. You're not qualified to help them directly with those issues, but you do not require a qualification. No qualifications needed to ask, are you okay? Ask the question, get your answer, work with them a little on, on finding an appropriately qualified person or resource, something like areyouokay.org.au, and then understand that it is okay to let it go. Because we're not therapists. We're not here to take on the world's problems and, and fix them all magically. It's a really important lesson to learn. Um, and that's the same for everyone. Everybody has their own stuff to go through. Everyone does. That doesn't mean you can't ask if somebody else is okay. But be aware that they may find themselves able to open up. Then you can help them find something. Check in with them a couple weeks later. But make sure that you're not taking on what they're going through yourself. That's what the resources are out there for. That's what places like areyouokay.org.au are there for. Um, now, I better up this thingy, shouldn't I? How? Look, you guys are just entirely too generous, clearly. <laughs> um, coming for time walking. Yes, absolutely. I do. I need to pop myself on um, thingamajig first. Um... Excuse me. Details? Goal. Yes. Okay, let's. Oh, no, that's good. Done. That. There we go. All right, perfect. Uh, I was just like, wait, ting, wait, ting. About six today. Can't be in too light side if possible. Absolutely, I will be jumping back and forth between the what's it's a little bit. I think. Um. All right. Give me a second. There we go. That's step one. And now I have a friend request, but I have no slots. So <laughs> one moment, please. Oh, that's me. That's weird. Okay. Um. Line remove. Perfect. Except done. All right. Uh, OCNA. I am Goose. I am. Thank you, everyone, for helping Goose out with that answer. Come online. I did. Yes. Hope you're all okay. I hope you're okay too, Unc. I hope you are too. Playing actual Burning Crusade. Brilliant. Horde Reliance. If Horde, I can tank and make no problem. Uh, both. A little bit of both. This one is Horde, but I'll be switching out. I'll be switching between the two. Easy. Oh, fantastic. Um, you are a bumblebee. Yes, I am. Fear the bumblebee. The armor. <laughs> I love the outfit stuff. Thank you, Landa. Thank you. This is actually the, the crop top. I made, well, I bought a white singlet from like JJ's or whatever, and I dyed it yellow and I cut it off to a crop top. This is part of my Misty cosplay from like years ago. So <laughs> it's the only thing that I own that is yellow. Uh, <laughs> oh, it just started suddenly raining. Oh my goodness. It was rain. It was bucketing down this morning, Yori. Bucketing down. Okay, there's a brand new called No Names. Exact yellow with black text. Like, we've got sheeps. We've got black and gold. It's the same thing. It's like a, a No Name brand that's from like, God, the 80s or something. And it's called black and gold. I'm not even sure if it's around anymore. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sky, I already saw it. Look, you're not wrong. Someone buys them in Kinney, they're not okay. I mean, they might be. They might be. They just might. They may have that amazing body confidence to pull it off. To bump the goal. I have. I have. We're joining you for time walking up. Love my tunes. Yes. And then the one off quest bit. They're all 53 plot. Um, no, it will help. Um, so when you queue, oh, I can't shoot on this one because it's max level, but when you queue, you do get a chunk of XP for doing a dungeon. Um, but I mean, why not start accruing those badges as well, unless you've bought everything for the badges. Um, fierce Hufflepuff confirmed. 
Fun fact, um, technically, way back when, when I took all those little quizzes and stuff like that, um, about two thirds of them landed me in Ravenclaw and the remaining third landed me in Hufflepuff. So there you go. There you go. Good afternoon, Kim. Welcome back. Hello, Sass. What is the charity associated with? Are you okay? That's the charity. It's Are You Okay? They have Are You Okay Day, which was yesterday, which is like the national day to, to ask, are you okay? And to, you know, give people the opportunity to open up about their mental health. But the organization is actually called Are You Okay? The website is areyouokay.org.au. Spelt like R U O K. Yeah, like the, the four letters. Ruok. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, like when you talk about the things that make you happy. Me too. I like it too. Thank you, Meaty, for that command. You still doing time walking? I am, absolutely. We're just having a bit of a chit chat because it is also a charity stream. Um, and I'm a little bit behind on chat, but I'm trying to catch up. I see myself doing okay. Rough couple of days a while back. Such happens with the weather change. It does. It does. You're absolutely right. I'm glad that you're feeling a bit better. That is great. Uh, I don't work today. Uh, down in hospital, so I'm missing my shift. Okay. Overnight, but still, still, that is that's a big thing. Like spending a night in hospital is still like you hope you don't have to do that, and you hope that your loved ones don't have to do that. Um, but I hope that you're taking care of yourself and your loved ones' apathy, and that you're all able to you know, support each other in this difficult time. <laughs> She was good to people find outlets for the massive bombshell that was announced some hours ago. Yeah, I'm not sure if we actually want to mention it. There are some people certainly hurting over it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, someone who actively tries to care about words with people. It's very draining. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. The same. And yet validating at times. I agree, channel. I agree. It's it's one of those, like, everything in moderation moments, isn't it? Um, this feels like a very safe and relaxing place. Really helped me through the working from home during COVID. And still, thank you for caring and being so inclusive. You are so welcome, Duran. You are so, so welcome. And I'm really glad that I've been able to create a place like that. That's like the dream. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Aw, and thank you for confirming, Channel. Appreciate that too. Dinner, no worrying about cooking. Brilliant. That is such a good, like, people think, oh my gosh, it's just food, but not having to think about where your next meal is coming from is just such a load off sometimes. Such a load off. Um, I love how I went to change my clothes, brush my teeth before you got to my post. More power to you for fronting an amazing charity there. <laughs> Sorry, Sass. I was, yeah, look, li li little, little, little bit behind, but it's fine. We're coming up now and we're going to do some time walking. Um, alrighty. So, Burning Crusade. Um... So, quick fi like quick find didn't work last time, did it? Let's see if this a quick join rather. If you're uh, on my friends list, there you go. On my friends list, and um, what's it? You can hit request to join group, and and you'll jump straight on in. Um, if you're not on my friends list at the moment, exclamation add me a d d m e will get you my battle tag. Uh, let me know when you add me, though, because I don't have the sounds turned on because they're annoying, especially during a stream. So let me know if you've added me and I can jump in and uh, make that adjustment. All right, we have three DPS. We'd be looking for a healer and a tank at this point. Um, unless one of the people in the group uh, would like to change. Up to them, of course. Boing, boing, boing. Uh, all right, BC. That means I have to get to Shatrath, right? All right, I think the fastest way is going to be the Hearthstone and then Orgrimmar and then Shatrath portal. So let's do that. Actually, no, this is one I can't spend any badges on. Never mind. Oh, I'm about to have to turn it in. Okay, do mind. Whew, that was a journey. I have so few things left. This is amazing. Like, it's all just the other expansions, but, like, Wrath is the next one coming up. And I'm going to be buying everything. The whole the whole vendor will be cleared out from Wrath. Um, and then what, Catter will be next? Catter will be cleared out. And then Mop. Mop will be cleared out. Actually, by the time we get to Legion again, I'll be done. 
because we will have gone through the anniversary by then too. Oh no, Marks of Honor. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Um, <laughs> when's our next comp stomp? Um, oh no. Uh, comp stomp, there it is. Okay, fourth of our... Oh no. Oh no, that... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Comstomp is PAX week. Oh no. Uh, we can do that. But that's okay. Um, I'll be flying out on the... Gosh, actually I'm flying out early Tuesday morning. <sighs> I'm gonna miss the whole week. Oh, no. I don't want to do actual PvP, but I'm going to have to. Otherwise, I'm going to miss literally everything from the anniversary because I buggered up and spent all my marks, forgetting that I was going to need some. Is it Crystal Song? It is Crystal Song, isn't it? No, that's Wrath. Gosh darn it. Look, I can't get Wrath off my mind. Obviously, Shatrath is downstairs. Um... How October awkward, troll comes stomp his TwitchCon week. Yeah, it means it's also uh, PAX Oz week because they're the same weekend. Um. <sighs> oh. Oh. How else does one get marks of honor? I know it's PvP, but is there like, do I have to do just like. Okay, or is there other funky ways I can do it? Is it because we often fly around in classic for a mount? Potentially. <clears throat> right, so. Ooh. So it's... Naru have not forgotten us. May your days be Ah, uh, mode quests. Oh, I don't wanna. Um, BG's only but CC ever. PvP is poopy. Brilliant, meaty. That is perfection. Alright, um, let me just get in this bubble and then I'm gonna. Uh, Durin Kim and A. Ik. Ik. Congratulations on your bonus stuff. Well done. This one. I have to double check how many marks of honor I actually need. Uh, okay. Centurion. Bonk. Place your units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four, thirty six. I only need thirty six of them. That still sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two BGs. I'm guessing you have to win the BG to get them too. Get an extra. Oh, so you get one if you lose, and you get maybe two if you win. Look, that's not bad. That could be. It could be worse. 
so many ways I think. Okay, all right. And you can you can do BGs at under sixty, can't you? You have to be like ten or twenty or something to queue. Okay. Well, we do have some leveling streams. Excuse me, on their way. So maybe maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe I have to get marks of honor through leveling, like leveling through PvP. God, that's disgusting. <laughs> I don't like it, but look, I lost a lot. And still, marks of honor, fantastic, Duran. So good to hear that. Yeah, I lose a lot too. I'm not very good. Even if my team wins, I still lose. And the mounts are oh, fantastic. Fantastic. You know, I know, Meaty. I know how gross is that, but, but, it means that I get every single purchasable item from the anniversary event this year, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And that's a pretty big deal. You anyway, it was worth the time. My time. No, more. I must have more. I don't think the laptop would be capable of running. Wow. Yes, I am a god. I mean, maybe it could be on like like terrible, terrible graphics and stuff. I can play some comp stomp while I uh while I'm down at the parents' place. I only need 36 of them. That's not that many. So doing some BGs you're gonna get Silja. Oh yeah, no, I've got <clears throat> I have so many that PvP achievements I still need to get. It's just It is far more fun with friends too though. Like playing through with a group like doing PvP with a group of people rather than just queuing as a one-off is um is far far better it's just gross <laughs> it's easier to do the achievements if you've got some semblance of control over where you go and what you do as well oh no uh, of course the anniversary event is like mid-november so that's what I'm, like, that's when I need to have them all by. I've got the badges. Easily got the badges. It's the marks that I don't have. Who, who are I carry the games? Beautiful, Unk. I would love that. I would love that. Right then. It looks like our next leveling stream, we're going to have to level through PvP. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Boom. Another one bats the dust. Alrighty. Back now, not sure if you've covered it yet. Are you going to run five dungeons and a hoardie, multiple hoardies, and switch to alliance? Um, I'm not gonna do the quest. Um, I'm not gonna run all five dungeons. Um, what I do is just do the one, get the item that drops at the end, turn that in for the 500 badges, and then switch tunes. Uh, but yeah, I'll be bouncing, like, Horde Alliance, Horde Alliance, Horde Alliance, I think. Um, because I don't have, like, this is the only character who actually needs badges still for, for her reward that she's gonna purchase. Um, that's where we are. Okay, sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this is a Horty, and the next tune I jump on will be an Alliance tune. Transmog! Yas! Clipping. Yep, yeah, just, just a touch. Just a touch. 
it, it always kind of, like, it sort of makes me go, what? The first time it happens, and then I kind of find it, and then sort of just look around, like, what's under here? <laughs> ETA? Uh, I've, I've no idea, sorry, dude. Um, yeah, it just, it all depends on how quickly we can down bosses and how quickly the group moves and stuff like that. I, I, I couldn't tell you, unfortunately. Um, and how much I get distracted by chat. <laughs> I know that's really annoying, but, um, yeah. It's, uh... I can't see it taking longer than, like, half an hour, but... Not sure where it would fall within there. Oh, uh, run! Fantastic! Fantastic. We do have two bosses left in here. Um, but I know that when you finish the third boss... The third boss is the next one. Once you get to the third boss, the fourth boss is pretty much straight after her. Um, but he's a longer one, so it's sort of, yeah, look. I don't remember how long any of these take. <laughs> it's been a while. Just did this dungeon in Classic for the first time yesterday, ended up zooming through, and too used to time walking! Excuse me, zoom straight past the quest hand and had to do it again just to get the heroic tune. Yeah. Yup. Dear me. Ah, well, at least it's a pretty dungeon. I, I really like this one. Um, it's a gorgeous spot. I mean, Silvermoon was also my favourite city, though, so... That helps to explain that. And stuff is making so into the stores now and I'm so happy it is. Gosh. Halloween is honestly the last thing on my mind at the moment. <laughs> oh lord. Look, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. streaming on the 31st. Maybe we'll do candy buckets. <laughs> Good for leveling. Fun. I mean it's not as quick as your your standard leveling, but um we could we could do candy buckets again.
the world too is the family fun i agree i agree i do enjoy them a lot Grant me strength. This is one time too, isn't it? It is. It is. Do not get too comfortable. Thankfully, I've already got that mount. One of my top viewed clips of all time. Unsurprisingly. Swirling time warped vial. So I already have one on Mikulea. So I need to go turn that in before I jump onto Alliance. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! One of, okay, so one of the party members got the mount and then is asking, does anyone need? <laughs> oh, wow. This is why you run with fear. This is why you run with fear. Because stuff just drops. I didn't get, I've already got. Someone else in the group did. I've seen, I've seen, I think two or three uh, infinite time reavers drop. I've got mine and I've seen another handful drop for, for community members. Like you need to run with fear. This is, this is, you need to run with fear. <laughs> Someone needs it. Mount, that mount drops commonly. Yeah, it's not supposed to, but I got mine after like seven attempts. So like, yeah, it's... That for O. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Sun Strider or the... Yeah, the, the Hawk Strider. The Swift White Hawk Strider. Hello. Good luck, friend. Mine after 29. Fantastic. Same. That mount dropped twice in the time it took me to get the <laughs> yeah, look. My good. Yeah, look. All right, so that's Phelan done. I'm going to jump onto Mickey Lair because she's actually got a vial on her already. So I want to go turn that in so I don't forget to. Uh, and then we'll switch to Alliance and do an Alliance tune. Um, but I'll check which tune on Mickey Lair because I'm going to see if I can get I want to squeeze out as many dings as I can. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, all right. Two of those dropped with my priestess in the day. No way! Oh my goodness. There you go. Far out. Oh my god, we have the same headphones. Love it. They're such a great color. Aren't they just? Stray, welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, the, the lilac is just, it's such a beautiful color. Um, Jas, my housemate, has them in the blue, and it's a beautiful blue as well. Like, you know, like black and white, yeah, sure, but like, just that little injection of colour, oh my goodness, it makes such a difference. They're gorgeous, and they're so comfy, so comfy, fantastic headphones. Jas needs to charge his always. Actually, I think he put them on charge last night, so they might be functional today. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh, now I'm seeing all those marks of honor requirements for the anniversary and I'm like stressing. 
I have purple everything, nails purple right now, my bag, my shoes, my watch. Beautiful stray. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, yellow on black today because it was Are You OK Day yesterday. Uh, and we're doing a spot of fundraising for them today. So I'm uh, I'm dressed for the occasion. But yeah, it's uh, purple is a beautiful color. Purple is my mum's favorite color. So it was also mine up until I learned how to think for myself. Um, but <laughs> it is like, and there are so many different shades of purple as well. Like it is just, you, you like, you don't realize how many shades of purple there are until you start, like you go to like a purple event or something. You're like, oh wow, you yeah, know, this is, this, these are all purple. This is awesome. Yeah, very, very versatile color. I like it a lot. I actually ordered some uh, more of my merch today and I got myself a purple shirt. Very exciting. Uh, right, here we go. Swirling time warped vial. Uh, so we'll open that one up and then we'll... Oh good, I have the portals. <laughs> good. Uh, is there mount makeup also? There's not. There's not today. Um, I decided to lean into the event instead. I hope that's okay. Uh, one day when I get a new pair, I let them turn to red. I can see what they look like when the battery is low. Actually, can you see the light on? We're doing the lights off for a second to show you. <laughs> this is not the Sunstone Panther. No, it could be, but it's not. Parents are going on big old camping adventure till Tuesday. So this weekend when you stream with your case, oh my God, when did it become 5 a.m.? Because you boys smart actually planned to be around the whole time. Yes. Yes. It'd be amazing. All right. Excuse me. So I'm gonna turn this in. What brings you here? Farewell. Um, oh no, I forgot to check. So 2025 on Mikulea. 2025. And how many do I have on Oh dear. I think that's a I think that's a 4390. Yeah, that makes Does that make sense? Jesus. Yeah. Holy cow. How did I? Okay, 4390 it is. I must have forgotten to update it last month. All right, the last time I should say. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go Alliance. We have 69%, 99%. Oh, that's right. All right, so we're gonna go for the 99. Wait, why is this all sorted funny? What are they sorted by? Eye level. Why do I have a 57 that's a lower item level than a... Okay, it's fine. 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 Uh, right. So it was 99% on Anya. Yeah. All right. We're going to hop on to her then. Makeup. Cosplay the honey back harvester. How dare you? These ones are slightly annoying when you have to sleep in the same room. They're charging in. So beware of that. Yeah. <laughs> Now you can turn the lights off. Um, you can turn the lights off while they're charging. Uh, it's just in the the G Hub thing. Destination for reasons. I can imagine what those reasons are. I think my G Hub is. I updated it before, but it seems to be kind of not loading. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay. Mm, really? Yeah. Of course you can. Like I, I have them. Like that's my bed. So I have them charging here, connected to my setup all the time. And yeah, no, it's totally fine. Totally fine. If you turn them off and then plug them into charge, I'm pretty sure they do like the green, and then it just kind of stops after a bit. Cause like, what's the point? <laughs> Um, I also tend to charge them after every stream, so I only use a bit of battery. So maybe it glows green while it's charging and then the light turns off when it's fully charged, maybe. And because I don't have to charge them very much. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, no, mine don't bother me at all. Maybe, maybe you just need to turn it, like, the headset around if it's not, like, a white surface behind them or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, mine seems to be fine. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's 
Maxim, thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. Hope you are having a fantastic day today. Um, okay, no, don't equip that. Put that back. Put that thing back where it came from. Was to help me decline. Uh, alrighty. So, time walking. I am queuing as either tank or DPS. So, um, yeah. Find me in your friends list. Request to join group. And off we ch off we go. This quick join work has a zero. Um, yeah, so now that I'm in the queue, it pops up in quick join, but I've we've found that time walking doesn't work, so you need to just open your friends list, find me, and click the request to join button group. Yeah, like that. Um, they reset to the spectrum cycle and turn my PC off for some reason, so I either leave them like that or turn them off and get the green. How do they charge if your PC is off? If they reset to the spectrum cycling, it's because the headset's on. They don't they don't cycle through the colours if the headset's off. Um maybe that's why. Interesting. Yeah, quick join unfortunately doesn't seem to work for time walking, which is really odd. Uh but yeah. Oh well. Uh so we have space for a handful more people. If anyone would like to join us, we are currently on Alliance side. My mouse charges when PC is off, which I find weird. USB port still power stuff when it's off, but plugged in. Ah, okay. Must be like a motherboard setting, yeah? Like, still allow these to be powered while the rest of it's not. I don't turn my PC off. Um, <laughs> there's just, there's always something that's running in the background or something that needs to be done or whatever. So yeah, I, I just tend to not turn it off. Um, but there you go, interesting. Interesting. I think the last time I actually had my PC off for more than a couple of minutes when I was like, you know, fiddling with something on the inside of it, would have been March. And that was because we had no power for a week because of the floods. <laughs> so that's not a, like, that's, I reckon that's a pretty good excuse. Retail Earth Man is so pretty. It is, it's gorgeous. Usually there's always live ports and others that aren't. Oh, there you go. You brought gum. Fantastic. Wonderful dupe. I'm not on this list. She's not. So who has their merch ready to show off at PAX? You know, you know, the, I know that there's a couple of you who are coming who have like shirts and stuff. You know I'm probably going to cry when I see it. I lost my, I lost my mind when mum sent me a photo of her and my stepfather in my shirts. I, um, I, um, I bought a few more bits and pieces today, um, and they're, I'm hoping, it says that they're due to arrive on or before the 3rd of October, so we're cutting it real fine, but, um, look, considering we're flying out on the 4th, But that was the end, like if they give you like a, a two week period when it could arrive and that's the end of that two week period. So fingers crossed, it'll arrive at the appropriate moment. But yeah, a couple t-shirts and a couple hoodies. Jas and I. Actually City Bill must be sky high leaving it on all the time. No. Like standby PCs don't use that much electricity. It's not like I have like the key lights and, and everything active and going and stuff like that. It just sits there idle. Um, yeah. It's because of the bots and stuff. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it is, but uh, like our last power bill uh, ended up being 15 bucks because we had a um, uh, like a cashback thing 
and all that. But yeah, no, it's it's not that big deal. Uh, now that we like do not ever run the air conditioner, like that was what the biggest part of our electricity bill was. Like eighty percent of our electric bill was fucking the bloody air conditioner. As soon as that stopped, everything's been dirt cheap. Uh, I don't think I'm going to switch to Horde, assuming DQ Flailing Rider is welcome. Of course it is! Of course, Meaty! Absolutely. You're always welcome. Everyone's always welcome. As long as we can make a, like an actual party that the group finder will accept, we're fine. Totally fine. And as long as people aren't, you know, griefing, like running around and pulling literally everything to try to make us fail or something, then yeah, but <laughs> I highly doubt many of you would actually even consider doing that. Another 60. Oh, well done, Yuri! Congratulations! I am so far behind. So far behind, and I'm not gonna be- Oh, look, there you go, ding. I'm not gonna be catching up for a fair while, unfortunately. Um, everything's sort of... What's the everything everywhere all at once? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, you keep forgetting about stream like Yes, there's just a touch, just a little bit. There shouldn't be, there shouldn't be too, too much. Should be somewhere around 10 seconds. Um, but of course that depends on your own personal internet connection and, um, and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, from me to the server, it's somewhere around six seconds. Um, somewhere, yeah, somewhere between four to six, depending on the day. Um, and then for you guys, obviously then you've got to download it from the server. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I was trying to fail just hear about a DK, hence why I'm panic at thought of running through DK on classic. No, don't don't be. Don't be. It's totally fine. Keep in mind if you're doing the DK on classic just to get them out, it's literally the leveling zone. You have very, very much limited, like very limited abilities, and like you've just got to get through two levels worth of questing. That's it. It is not something you need to be stressing about. It's also not group content, so you've got no one else to kind of have to hold up to or anything like that. You're, you're totally fine. something interesting about the Maga Lady Boba Brown Sugar Bubble Tea and it can! Yes, I've had that. Well, actually, I don't think I've had Lady Boba, but I've had a couple of brands of, um, like, milk tea in a can with pearls. Um, so one of the ones, my favorite one, like, none of them are as good as Bubble Tea Club because, like, they're just, they're not, you know, pre, like, uh, pearls that have to sit there for forever and not get soggy or whatever. They would have been made of something different, right? They're not tapioca pearls. Uh, the ones in my favorite brand, if I have to have them instead of an actual bubble tea, um, are made of konjac. So they're konjac pearls. So they have that kind of squishy sort of feeling and you've got to bite into them. But they don't, they're not chewy. You just sort of bite through them. Um, but yeah, look, it's not too bad. The milk, like the actual brown sugar milk tea is delicious. The pearls are just a really interesting sort of texture. Um, and an, a slightly interesting flavor, but they're not terrible. They're, they're good for a, um, they're good for a, like, scratching the itch kind of thing. Just not ideal for long-term usage. Uh, I did earlier and was very simple experience. Re click respawns and DK is pretty manageable. Yeah, and you don't have too many different abilities to use either, so it's, yeah, it should, it should be fairly manageable. All right. Uh, Neke, Midi, Duran, Paul, and Kim, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, 
trying to... You guys, why are you... Sorry, I'm tanking, so I'm sort of trying to... What I might do is pull you over here, and then I'll go and do the stuff in, like, quick alt tabs while I'm... Pull a group, and then alt tab. While I'm... There we go. Okay. It's defeated. Awesome. Um... So two flavors, brown sugar and matcha. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'm not usually a huge fan of uh, matcha stuff. I just, I find that it settles too much for me. Um, and you're constantly having to stir to kick up the, the matcha powder and the powder feels kind of powdery. Um, but like made properly, I'm sure it'd be amazing. I just, yeah. Oh, that's a boss. And I'm dead. Let's see if I get a... What's it? I did! Amazing. No. Nah. <laughs> I really don't want to fight back. That's fine. Let's do it. was hesitant but I didn't know how to even get the pills out like when they just get stuck um they do if you try to drink it out of the can ideally you would have a straw that you'd like pop in and, and use that to get the drink um similar to how you drink a bubble tea like regular bubble tea uh but look it's not too bad they do they do get stuck on the little lip for the can though if you don't have a if you don't have a straw I didn't have pills I haven't gotten any ah gotcha gotcha um, yeah, you do need to mix them up. Like, it says, usually says on the pack, if it does have pearls, it'll say. Um, and you've got to, like, when you first have it, before you open it, you've got to shake it. And I don't just mean, like, uh, ha, ha. I mean, like, shake it to get all the pearls. Because they will have settled, they'll stick together. you got to loosen them from the bottom of the can and then break it all up. And you got to do that with a, ver like, a ferocious shaking, uh, basically. So, yeah, it's, um, it's definitely possible, but... Yes. Concerns are accurate. High threat, me, free starter. Yeah, basically. Mm, is everybody heaps more than I expected with the badges? Chris really help? Yeah. Yeah, the 500 badges are, like, it's huge. Definitely recommend. <clears throat> I should get like a Polaroid picture, except harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To go to Bubble Tea, Bubble Tea Club. Uh, but I'm assuming you're not meaning brand. Uh, <laughs> guava green tea, like she popping pearls. Have to get that with belly. Any sugar though? Yeah, um, I tend to not go with popping pearls. I prefer chewy stuff. Um, so I'll go, like if it's a milk tea, I'll have pearl pearls, like tapioca pearls. And if it's a fruit tea, I'll have something like uh, coconut jelly, lychee jelly, sometimes rainbow jelly. Not my favorite, but it's it's tasty. Um, rainbow jelly is usually tropical flavored. Um, uh, I'm very much a like what kind of mood am I in kind of orderer. Um, I tend to go for a flavor that I can't make at home because the Bubble Tea Club has like quite a few flavors now that I can make at home. And uh, so I, I often try to go for something that I can't make at home. Um, but sometimes, especially some of the smaller cafes, right? Like the big chains like Gong Cha and Cha Time and stuff like that obviously have massive for menus. Uh, but a lot of the smaller places don't. Um, they'll have like a, a smaller or kind of curated menu. Um, so I'll tend to go for... Um, if it's a cooler day, I'll do milk. If it's a warmer day, I'll do fruit. Uh, and if they've got cheese foam, I will take it. <laughs> cheese foam on a fruity tea is just the bomb. It's so good. Um, when I say cheese foam, don't think cheddar. It's not like cheddar cheese. It's more like cheesecake whipped and frothy. So it's pourable. And it's 
delightful. It's just the best thing, especially if you can get a really tart, a really tart fruit tea with cheese foam on the top and the, the cheese, like the foam, the milkiness cuts through the tartness. And one of my favorite orders from Gongcha is Rosella tea with lychee pearls and cheese foam. It's just, and no sugar, because then the, the tea is almost sour. It's, oh, it's delightful. Really, really good. Sounds wrong though, I've always avoided it. Yeah, it, it does sound wrong, but I promise you it's delicious. It's literally like, think if you took actual cheesecake and added something to make it a little runnier and then whipped it so it's frothy. Smooth and creamy and just so, so tasty. If you have stuff on you, bring it to here. Bring it to the tank. <clears throat> Perfect. Right. Not sure if I'm doxing this. I'm really good one called Buffalo Charm. I'm sure my full name is way bigger than Char Time. Listen, Char Time's in the UK. Amazing. It's always great when they have like a super big menu, but I understand like, cause a lot of the places, like where I work, for example, we have like four bubble tea places within a couple blocks, four different ones, but all of them have a menu that can fit on an A4 page and not with teeny tiny writing, like with decent spacing, with decent sized font and a couple pictures because they don't have like stocks and stocks and stocks of all the different syrups and stuff like that. They kind of have a couple of things that they can mix up in a few different ways to make different flavors. But yeah, it's, um, it's very much like a boutique kind of cafe rather than a, uh, like a chain store kind of deal. But yeah, it's, um, I, and I think honestly, you only really need a couple flavors and then a couple different toppings because then you can mix and match and you get hundreds of combinations. But yeah, it is, it is a lot of fun seeing the places that have, like, uh, there's another place that I've gone to a few times that has an A5, like, sorry, an A3 sheet and it's packed full of all the different flavors they do. Absolutely packed. It's really cool. <laughs> And there's like so many things on there and I'm like, what, what is this? Do I, I don't even know what this is. So it's fun trying all the different stuff. Excuse me. Might have to put out a a suggestion box to try to get a whole bunch of different like flavor combinations and stuff and then test them out with bubble tea, you know? Bubble tea club ingredients and just see like what we can get. Fantastic! Well done. Well done. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. So I have to stand back in that room and just yank a couple at a time. Um, bubble shows 27 fruit tea, 24 milk. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Either there are a massive volume store. I, I just, I can't imagine, like you imagine if you make an order for a, like a retail sized jug of one of those syrups, how long, g given how many different flavors there are, what are the chances that someone picks that flavor? One in 50. So how often are you using that syrup? So how long does it take to use up a whole jug? How long has it been sitting there? Like far out. They must be, they, they must have like, I, they, are they in like a, okay, so either a university or like a CBD where there are tons and tons of people that work every single day, like, 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 you know, in a city where there's a shopping center and all office buildings and blah, 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 blah. 
Like, you'd have to be. You'd have to have and the only bubble tea store in, like, a handful of blocks. God. It's insane. Although, then, like, that, that being said, though, how many of them are mixtures of the other things? I sent it those two when I'm trying to tell what one really needs. Okay. My other question, I guess, would be, you know, like, if you have a peach tea and a mango tea and then a peach and mango tea, like, that way you'd actually be using them up more quickly. Wait, how did- oh, you guys were still alive. No, I just noticed it then. Never mind. Um, hello, Tan, welcome back! Hope you're doing well today. If you liked, thank you, much appreciated. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, milk teas are just fruit teas with a dash of milk. Yeah, that also. Like, strawberry fruit tea and strawberry milk tea and... Because a lot of them, they'll do, like, fruit powder. They'll do powders for the milk teas, but not always. There are a few that do. They use the fruit syrups for... Yeah. Four of the fruit teas, a combination of two, and three or four milk teas, same flavors. Fruit teas, most unique. They even have durian. Far out. Cool. Yeah, high turnover would make, make more sense. Um, it's interesting. Like, God, lately, anything and everything, it's like thinking from thinking about it from a business perspective, and like, how would you make that work, and all that kind of. It's it's interesting. I'm, I'm, I've been learning so, so much lately. So many different topics and it's just, it's really quite cool. There's also just so much to know. So many variables. Gucci toppings, Jesus Christ. Now are there even that many toppings? Like that's just, I think I would not go there, personally. <laughs> I um, I have analysis paralysis on the best of days. That's just, that's too much. I couldn't do it. What? <laughs> Manually, yeah. Oh dear. same thing every time. <laughs> oh, I like experimenting. I like trying different things out, but there's sometimes it's just a, a touch too much. There are a couple of places in Brisbane City where they have quite a large menu, but they also have like a special every day and it's a different thing every day. And it's also a couple bucks cheaper. So you get like, instead of $6 for a, a bubble tea, 
the bubble tea of the day you can get for three fifty. Um, so I don't pick. I just go with whatever's written on the board. Because <laughs> that way I don't have to think and I save money. <laughs> this shows only order. What are two things? Yeah, look, but that's the thing though, right? If you if you spend that time and you spend that money and then there's a chance it's going to be bad, but then the stuff you order every time, you know it's good because you order it every time. So there's no risk of that. I feel that. I feel it. Is it a really message to really let you fruit tea, something jellies? Yeah. Is this shake place called Shakeaholic? That's way worse. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I do like places where they give you the option of customizing, like like Subway, right? You can pick your things out of the what's it and, and build your stuff, or they have like pre-made ones that you can just order straight off the board. I like that because then people who want it super customized can do that, but I don't have to. Like Boost Juice does that as well. I think you can build your own smoothie or whatever, but I don't because <laughs> why? It wasn't nice, they're far too rich for me. You love the tarot. You can, like, if you get them with ice and then you get them with extra ice and then, like, let it settle a bit before you actually have it, it waters it down a bit. So it's less creamy. Hot tip. And if you're making it at home with Bubble Tea Club, you just add less powder. Uh, fewer, tea, fewer tablespoons of powder or add more water. Your call, you know. Definitely a... Definitely a good option. Uh, yeah, but is that then just a waste of money? No, because you're still getting something that suits you. Like, that was something, like, that was something I really had to kind of wrestle with way back when. I'd always order no ice because then you get more drink, right? Uh, but then you also get more calories. And so from a serving perspective, you're supposed to have full ice to get the number of kilojoules that they say on the menu, you're supposed to have full ice. So if you have extra ice, it's even better for you. Not still not good for you, but better. <laughs> but the idea is you're paying for a drink that will satisfy you, that, that contains what you want it to contain. So if you get extra ice, then you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, Shake's place menu is 2A4 and like 10 point font, Jesus. No, thank you, I'm good. <laughs> uh, the reason why I recommend ice and fizzy drink is it keeps it fizzy. Uh, I've not found that personally. I find that it just waters it down and then it gets less fizzy over time. But um, like like it loses the fizz at the same kind of rate. But that's just me. Um, I don't know if that's a. It's just from my perspective, it's just a what it feels like thing. Not necessarily what it scientifically does. Uh, but bubble tea doesn't usually have fizz in it anyway, so that's okay. I mean, you can. You can definitely put... So that's how I use up the last little dregs of syrup in the bottles from Bubble Tea Club. Fill them up with soda stream. Use them up. You get kinds of chocolate alone that you can have in it. A bunch more toppings and bases. Oh, good lord. Yeah, no, that's entirely too much. I, I just, like... Maybe that's just the fact that I'm old speaking, but, like... Can I just order a pre-made beverage. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you want to make it fresh. That's great. But like, don't make me pick everything. Like, can I have a, you know, a, a triple chocolate milkshake that has, you know, chocolate this and chocolate that and chocolate the other and milk and ice cream and whatever. But like, don't make me pick all the bits that go in it. Just give me that and then let me customize it if I want. But I don't need to choose 20 different options to fill a milkshake for god's sake it's just it's it's a bit much and i can't imagine that that like that can't be an effective business strategy unless they're charging 12 bucks a thing Who this sanctuary? <sighs> just so much of it would just go bad because it sits there forever and no one picks it and then it's like god damn like one person a month comes in and has that particular thing and ugh. Ah, uh, triple checker. Uh, do you have set menu items multiple? Actually, great. Then, wait, what? 
Group the oh, okay, sure. Also, DC doesn't something. I noticed them standing to the side for a bit before. someone to drop. It wasn't one of us, I don't think. So it must be there for you to keep going. But the mind yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, it, it's... It's a hell of a risk starting a business like that. Like, starting it with such a massive menu selection, especially for things like milk, where everything goes bad. Um, the more... Uh, the more... Like, I mean, chocolate and stuff will sit there for months. It might not be fantastic quality to eat the chocolate after a few months, but to like put it in a milkshake or a smoothie or whatever then that's fine because it's you're not going to feel the texture and, and all that kind of stuff um but if you start looking at fresh fruit fresh milk that kind of stuff it yeah it goes bad quick it goes bad quick uh right so that was anya where is she there she is and she's 57 now amazing uh, and she needs to go to place to turn in her badges. Um, my favorite is a cherry monster bomb. Yes, monster as in energy drink. Cherry drops like cherry hard candy. Crushed up whipped cream and raspberry sherbet. Jesus. Ah, oh, well done on the tailoring pattern. Well done, dupe. So it sounds like cold rock. In, except it's drinks instead of ice cream. So Cold Rock Ice Creamery is the the whole, like, you pick your flavor of ice cream and then you pick your mix-ins. And they're bloody expensive and every single thing you add costs you an extra dollar or something. Brilliant stuff. Super, super tasty, but just ridiculously expensive. Cool, okay, interesting. Just half for dairy items, my famous Russian roulette shakes. Nah, 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 it's totally fine. It's not like it takes long. I like it too. Oh, oh, nope, I'm Alliance. Good. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, counts. How many times will I do that tonight? Remember that for the next Alliance soon. All good. All good. Not a worry. So why did they remove all the portals from everywhere? Um, I think they were trying to condense it down into, they were trying to make Orgrimmar feel, nope, I'm not, Jesus, look, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I think they were trying to get people back to Orgrimmar again uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, because just having so many ways to get around the world, it made the world feel a bit smaller, I think was what they originally said. Uh, because it was just too easy to get places. So having it, like, you can still come back to Org and then go out to wherever you need, but it does make it feel like you do need to do more traveling to get to a place. It makes the world feel just a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Hello, Phil. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Feel free to Okay. Bless. Be careful. 1040 on this tune. All right, so we're going to hop to Horde next. Which Horde tune are we going to go on? Excuse me. 3594 on Mudredress. All right, so 94. So it's Mudredress. Okay. You found the bell! Yep, yep, you gotta give it a real good thwack at the beginning to, to make them unstick. Uh, $7 a shake for the smaller size, $8.40 large since you were wondering the price earlier. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 
Alrighty. This one. Yeah, on honestly, that just... It doesn't... <sighs> I'm sure it tastes good, but it... That's about the same amount as bubble tea. And for energy drink with crushed up candy, it just... Um, not, uh... Not for me, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be for everybody. That's very, very expensive for a flavored energy drink with whipped cream on top. <laughs> very expensive. Um, the bag space energy that I get. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. The bag space is a thing. There's so many grays dropped in in BC and stuff. Mm. But no, look, not everything is for everyone, and that's totally okay. And no bubble tea is not for everybody, and that's all right. It means more for me. <laughs> I'm very happy that you found something that, that like, makes you happy. That's fantastic. It's kind of, like, especially when it comes to food. Like, I'm a real, like, um, like, I would call myself a foodie, but I also, like, I go to food for comfort and stuff like that. Uh, so food and drinks and stuff like that, it's, yeah, it's tasty stuff that I really enjoy. Brings me a whole lot of joy. Um, so I'm I'm happy that other people can find that kind of stuff too, you know. It's important to me, so I imagine it's important to others too. Uh, can I get was 250, not bad for milk tea hit? Absolutely, for sure. That is real cheap too, yeah. So the ice cream and stuff as well, to be fair. Their premium shakes go up to $9. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, I'd rather a bubble tea, personally. <laughs> um, but that's just me, like I was saying. That's just me. Um, my dislike of something doesn't mean that everyone else has to dislike it too. No, definitely not. Uh, alrighty, we are on the Horde side. I am finding group. Feel free to request to join group via your friends list. Um, and we will get cracking. Beautiful. As a foodie, you know and appreciate FOD. I, I do know and appreciate FOD. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, look, less so these days. Like there, there were there was a time, definitely a time when, um, like I would seek out new, fancy, unusual restaurants and try all the stuff on the menu, all that kind of stuff. I just I don't have the time to do that anymore. Um, uh, money is also a thing. Like I'm I'm a bit short on cash these days, but. It's more about the time. I don't really have time to go and spend two to three hours having a oh, restaurant meal. So well. Unless it's like a super spend. Aw, Strang, thank you so much for the Prime sub. So generous of you. I hope you're having an awesome time with us. Thank you. But yeah, um, spending like that much time on a meal. Like that's a special occasion thing now. Um, <laughs> I wonder if Sheeps is giggling as hard as I am. Anyway. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Um, I do miss doing that kind of stuff. And one day I'm, I'm hoping like once I, once I get to the point where I am making enough cash that I can pay my bills and that I'm a full-time content creator, that I can go and do that kind of stuff. Cause like, I, I, this is, <laughs> anytime I actually manage to get out of the house and do something nice, these days there's always a content creation opportunity in it. Um, you know, go out and have a picnic, take a bunch of Instagram photos. <laughs> you know, like it's, that's literally how I live my life now. So I, I would love to get to the point where I can not only afford financially, like money wise, but I can also afford time wise to go out and have a nice dinner at the cost of taking some photos. And, and do you know what I mean? Like that would just be really lovely. Uh, but not, not, not at this point yet, not yet. Yeah, don't think you have to actually see the spend your booty. It's just a label. Yeah, fair. Fair. And when I do get the opportunity, I do love doing it. So I think that's, yeah. Uh, I think I'm more a glutton than a foodie. I know. I appreciate good food. It's amazing, but at the same time, most things are great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, there is there is pleasure to be had in, you know, in your supermarket tempura chicken nugs. Uh, as much sometimes as there is going out to a beautiful fancy restaurant and being served incredibly presented food that's just delicious and very expensive. Um, but I also really like the experience of, of going to a restaurant. Like there are some restaurants where it's just kind of like, what do you want? 
good, okay, go to the kitchen, thunk, there's your food. Whereas there are other places where you're treated like you are really important, <laughs> even if you're very much not. Uh, and that is just like there's there's that level of care that really makes it an experience it's not just about the food it's about the the atmosphere and and the the service and the um just just all of that put together can make for a beautiful evening like a really beautiful evening um and i think that's kind of yeah, I think that's what really sort of pulls me in with the with the food stuff, like going out to eat particularly. Um, I love me some tasty food, but there's that higher level of experience that just makes something a little more magic. I'm gonna turn the game to max on my food tastes. I don't think I'm uh, I think I'm a foodie. And she's really paying for time today, but still, you should probably eat some like food. Um, right, so we've got three DPS at the moment in the group. So if we have a tank or a healer who would like to join us, now is a phenomenal opportunity. It was totally fine. Not a worry at all. Not a worry at all. You have a tank, thank you. Hey dupe, what's up? What are you doing? Can you come heal on the Holy Valley? Uh, we're time walking. BC time walking. Uh, we're currently on Horde. We've just gotten into the queue. Uh, next up, we're doing an alliance soon. Fell, attend, Haley, and Pulse. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Um, what are we doing this one? Yes, we are fundraising today for Are You Okay? Are You Okay is an organization who helps people find resources and creates a community of uh, of folk to like, you know, support those who are who are having a go of it and uh, encourages people to ask the question: Are you okay? You no qualifications required. Why? Did I not have pants on? What? I'm confused. Um, no qualifications are required to ask if someone is okay. Anyone can ask, and Are You Okay provides resources uh, on how to ask and what to do next, and also provides resources for the person you're asking if by chance they need some help. You can jump on their website at ruok.org.au to find all sorts of fantastic resources, links to helplines, that kind of stuff. Um, and no matter what you're going through, there is help out there. Sometimes it might be more generalized help, just like a, a, a phone call helpline. Uh, and sometimes it's far more like specific help. There are, there are all sorts of different helplines for youth in crisis. Uh, there are grief counseling hotlines. There are all sorts of bits and pieces out there. Um, that can help, regardless of what you're going through, someone someone out there is qualified to help you with this. Um, yeah. Paladins only run. There are no paladins in this group. <laughs> I will have you know. Wait, can you not do cross-faction time walking? No. No, you cannot. Um, but I do have tunes on both sides, so I'm flipping between the two. Ah, uh, Gondor needs no pants. About a plans. You can, Kim. Give me just a... Oh, I'm stunned. Perfect time. There you go. Enjoy. Restart my PC. Fantastic, Phil. Welcome back. No pants needed in time walking. Apparently not. I'm like, Cause it's like, you should equip these. And I'm like, but why? Druid only is better. Druid only is hilarious. You're very welcome, Kim. Not a problem. Not a problem. Lies. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I hit 50. I'm like, why am I equipping all this new stuff? I dinged. We got the ding. It's Madridress. 
Now 57. Or monk only, to be honest. Anything but paladin only. <laughs> I find it hilarious that you're saying that strain when your Twitch username is pink, which is like a paladin. So <laughs> Makes me giggle. Well done on the ding, Yuri. I can someone explain how the battle plan quest works in Stream Raiders. I'm lost. Um, so if it's placing on battle plans, all you need to do, because I have that battle plan that covers the entire map, you can just place your unit anywhere and it will count. Um, otherwise, to do battle plans quests, usually like if they've got a battle plan that calls for a tank, you'd need to place a tank on that battle plan that says tank. Um, but there is a battle plan called Vibes where you can place anything. It's just to help with the, the quests. And so if I get a quest to place battle plans, I'll put Vibes everywhere. And if you get a quest to place on a battle plan, you can just ask me for battle plans. I'll pop them down and then you can just place anything anywhere you want. <laughs> If sounds enabled, we should. I did go through and enable them all. Did I? Odd. They're all enabled. Yeah, they're, they're all enabled. I wonder... That's fine. That's really odd. Uh, hmm. I don't know why they're not working. I've, I promise you they're all enabled. And I have them going to the right audio source and all that kind of stuff. I'll have to do some digging into it afterwards. I'm so sorry. That's super strange. Oh, my ding. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome, Duran. Not a worry. Glad I could help. I tried to that and could really buy with it. I don't know. Fair. Fair enough. Not everything's for everyone, eh? I've got everything. Like, I've got all the different um, classes, but that's mostly for collecting collection purposes. Like, trying to get all the different transmog and stuff. Main reason why I got smart bulbs in bedroom now to dim the lights. My cat's got up on my bed. Oh, dear. I hope TVC has been good to you and your day off was nice. It was. It was fantastic. Um, it was really, really lovely, and uh, yeah, time walking is going okay. It's going pretty well. Uh, okay, purple's great. Maybe this is better. <laughs> it does. It did change on my end, Stray. Sometimes it takes a few messages for it to update your, like, on your side. If you hit the refresh button, that that should also update what you're seeing. But yeah, it does. It does take a couple messages to to fix up um, display stuff. I just realized that with those two dings, I have met the 4th of September goal, I think. Yeah, I have. Fantastic. Um, I mean, I know I'm still behind, <laughs> but that's, um, look, it could be worse. It could be worse. Um, so I can tick that off as well. Uh, where am I up to? I'm up to the 5th, but it's currently the 9th, so I'm four days behind. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. You see orange and matured lady at a heart, but I hate the colour! Oh no! Oh no. Yeah, I think, um, like, if you've got Twitch Prime or something, or is it Prime or is it Turbo? I can't remember. But one of them allows you to pick your colour rather than just from the list. You can do it from, like, a whole colour gamut. Um, so you can have, like, custom colours and stuff. Um, and I think maybe, like, you know, like a peachy orange? Might be a little bit nicer than like the real bright orange color. Like a pale orange, even if it's not peachy. Should level order in a sheet. No, not yet. Not yet. Because I'm doing that to show me very obviously you've already done a run on that character. You can't, like, don't do another one. Yeah, there, there is, I promise there's a reason why it's not neat and tidy. Otherwise, you know me. 
<laughs> you know me. I clicked the more colors. Got to go off the shoe. Oh no! Maybe open it in a different in a different tab, so you can like still listen in the background while you have a fiddle around. Orange is bestest. So is this the updated spreadsheet? No, no. This is this is still my one. Do you think? Do do you honestly think I have had the time to plug my data into Jack's new one? <laughs> no, N no, no. It has all the time. Bullshit. No, absolutely not. I do translate pink. Don't want to seem like a paladin again. Ah! <laughs> you could do the pale blue instead. Or well, the white. I mean, white is also an option for um for names. I think. Hello, Sam. How are you going? Welcome back, Mus. Good morning to you. These are new lashes and they are full on. Oh my god. I was uh I was cleaning off my the lashes I've been using for about a month now, and a whole like tuft of them came off, and I was like, ah. Usually that means they're dead. It's time to use new ones. Um, and then I opened up my little display book of all the lashes I have in my stash, and I was like, oh no, these are all very much full on. So look, I'll get used to it. <laughs> I'll get used to it. Uh, why not black names? Sounds like you're asking for trouble. Who's gonna see it? Well, no one should be using light. I'm kidding. Light mode is obviously better for some people, and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, look, they do they do cause issues. They do cause issues. I we used to have someone who was a regular in chat who had like a really deep navy name, like really dark navy blue, and I was like, I couldn't I couldn't say it. Could not say it. When they would come in the first time every each day, I'd be like, what? And I'd have to like highlight them in chat to see what, you know, because it does the negative. Um, and then from then, just like any time I couldn't see the name, assume it was them. <laughs> Too many for me, just what I needed. How are you? Uh, busy as all get out, um, but doing quite well. Doing well. Like the, the stuff that is making me busy is all really awesome stuff. So I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. In the spreadsheet, Jack Rabbit Hole. <laughs> yeah. That's why they are someone, correct? Hello, you. 130. Wow, sheeps. Doing well. The number keeps going down. That's a good thing. Some people have black font. Please have it with dark mode. Yep. It's good then. Hope it goes smoothly. Me too. Me too. I'm. I have an announcement to make on Sunday. And then I have a call next Thursday. Um, and then there are a couple of other things that are still at the point where I don't even know. Like, I, it's just I get an email when I get emails and we see how we go kind of thing. But yeah, announcement on Sunday and a, a call next Thursday, after which maybe I'll have some info for you guys. But we'll see. I have to call out an oath. I think that's the correct term for my job today. I'm never saying anything wrong. Call out an oath. Like make a speech? Like stand up in front of a whole, of a whole bunch of people and, and talk? And say stuff that's scripted? I'm guessing that's what you mean. That's alright, you'll be, you'll be alright. Do they demand that you make eye contact with the audience or can you just like read? Because that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Speaking from experience makes it much easier. Exciting, exciting, very exciting. Yeah, no, I'm, um, I, I had a couple of, a couple of calls with my mods today because I had some information to tell them that I couldn't really put in text because it wasn't appropriate. I mean, it was like, it, you'll understand when I tell you. Um, because <laughs> uh, I, I had news to deliver, but I didn't want to, like, in text just didn't do it justice. So, yeah, no, everything, everything's going really, really, really well. Um, I'm just, <sighs> everything all the time, like everything everywhere all at once, I think is the, yep, and it's, 
every time I kind of go, oh, well, I haven't had any ridiculous emails in a couple of days, I'll get five. <laughs> so it's, I just got to stop saying that and it'll be fine. And everything, ah, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Uh, Oath making affirmation, like cool thing, yeah. And that's three teams, fun, fun. It's all right. You'll you'll be all right. Mouse, you'll do well. I have faith in you. Random whisper me asking for four K gold. Like yeah, nah, N nah. Whisper asking for two K. Understand when I tell you is such a mood. Yeah, look, I I want to with all of my being. I want to talk. I want to tell everyone about this, but I can't. I can't. And I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> but there is an announcement on Sunday. I didn't do it today because charity. Charity is the focus, but we have an announcement on Sunday. So be there for that. Because that'll be good fun. I think to be inappropriate to her mods in person. Only ever with consent. Oh, that's so loud. Only ever with consent, matey. The epic fight, matey. <laughs> Maybe you could keep a picture of your favorite thing in the background. I can help relax, yeah! Got it, yes, absolutely. Keep my open, try and take a break, yes! Yes, I know that feeling. Good luck, yes! I can guarantee that person has a main with plenty of gold, yeah. Yeah, look. Thank you so much for dropping that link dupe as well. Just a gentle reminder while we're talking about charity. That we are fundraising for Are You Okay today. Uh, it was Are You Okay Day yesterday, um, but it's not a stream day for me yesterday, and I was not here on Wednesday, so, and it was a sponsored stream on Friday. <sighs> so, here we are today. Here we are today. Um, are You Okay is a really important question. It's, it's a really important question. Sometimes people feel like no one cares. Something like they, they just, there's no appropriate moment for them to, to speak out about what's going on on the inside. Uh, so asking someone if they are okay, and you don't need any qualifications to do that. You don't need to be a, a psychotherapist to ask someone if they're okay. Just asking that little question may give them the opportunity that they've been looking for to be able to tell someone, no, I'm not. Areyouokay.org.au has a ton of resources on how to ask uh, what you can say and do after the fact if someone does tell you that they're not okay. Uh, it has lists upon lists upon lists of resources to suit all sorts of different circumstances. Uh, and a lot of them are completely, most of them are completely free. Uh, not like all of the Are You Okay resources are free, but most of the uh, the help options that they, they list are, are free to use for anybody. Uh, who needs them. So um, we're fundraising for Are You OK particularly today to help them maintain those resources, for them to continue doing research into like, you know, new helplines that are available or, or new foundations that can help. Uh, and, and putting all of that together takes manpower. And those people, you know, people deserve to be paid for their work. Uh, and that's what our donations help do. They help support the organization in supporting others. And so I think that's important. Um, there's also some information on their website about where your donations go if you are curious, uh, if you want to know how it's spent before you spend it kind of thing. Um, yeah. Ah, brilliant. All righty. So I am listening. there we go. That is a... This one's a hoardy, right? Good luck, friend. 2105. 2105. Whoa. Damn, lock was on. 2105. Uh, and now we're going to hop back onto an alliance. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. Uh, back onto an alliance tune. So we have 69. We have 64. We have 94. All right, so another warrior. Uh, Velithus. And then where are we here? 83. Cool. So we're going to go on to Velithus on the Alliance side. Can you that frosty join again? Absolutely. You can join as many as you want or can. That's like as long as you're free to join us, you are more than welcome to do so. And of course, um, jumping in uh, in the correct roles. Like obviously we can only have a tank, a healer, and three DPS. So as long as we have everything, 
as it should be, then yeah, no, I'm totally fine uh, for everyone to join as many times as they desire. Do, do, do. So where is, there she is. Hopefully we can get another one to 57. Isn't this exciting? Do, 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 can't wait for DF to drop so I can rejoin well. I mean, you can always rejoin earlier than that if you really wanted to. But I'm just being cheeky, so that's fine. <laughs> Alrighty. Why am I? No, just, just deeps, please. Uh, there we go. I'm in the queue. You may find me in your friends group, friends list, and uh, select request to join group. I am on alliance side. Do one more tonight. Be the two get the dragon hall from this. On to classic to get the Drake. Yes, wonderful news. Sing. Uh, if you'd like to join me, exclamation add me, A-D-D-M-E. Tell me in chat if you have added me, uh, because I have the little ping when you get a new friend request turned off because it's annoying. Um, <laughs> plus when you're streaming, it's just, it's a bit of a thing. Um, and then I can make room on my friends list and add you and then you can join the group. Do we know how long Drake is available for? No, um, I honestly just assumed it was an ongoing thing. It's like the, the Hearthsteed. I'm pretty sure you can still get that if you just go and like play three Hearthstone games, you get the Hearthsteed kind of thing. That's like an ongoing promotion. Um, yeah. Uncertain. Dear. My next weekly goal for this Sunday is 70%. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get there. Um, that would be cool. I'd rather do that when I'm caught up in my leveling at the same time in a different game. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I know that Blizzard ANZ tweeted out about it earlier today. Um, so, and there's like a, they tweeted with a link. So maybe check the link and see if there's an asterisk at the bottom uh, with like a, a deadline or something. Thank you, Jess. Much appreciated. Uh, players who play through the complete Death Knight starting experience asterisk in Wrath of the Lich King Classic will earn the Frostbrood Proto Worm asterisk asterisk to carry them through their adventures in Shadowlands and beyond into the upcoming Dragonflight expansion. Um, Requires completion of the quest where kings walk on alliance characters or war chief's blessing on horde characters. Mount not available in World of Warcraft classic titles. That's it. There is no date 
anywhere in this entire thing, and that's from Blizzard. That's not like a Wowhead article. That's a Blizzard post, um, and there's no date anywhere. So I would imagine it would be ongoing. But you could probably also tweet at them to find out. Backspace year. News on Battle.net doesn't have a date. Yeah. So it should be until they announce an end date. I'd say so, yeah. If they announce an end date, it might just be permanent. More likely for the duration of Wrath. Possibly, yeah. Uh, hi, Connor. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you're good. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm not doing too badly. Um, I just got the three or four pressure and can hit my druid. Chase drink it. Nice. Well done. Well done. Oh, dear. What's up? Uh, 12 minutes. Fantastic. Ugh. Did you notice you can't walk through the time walking people? Yes, it's so that people can't mount up on a massive thing and then stand on top of them to block access to them. Because that's what people used to do back in the day. And so now, nowadays, you'll notice things like uh, people like Cadgar as well. Um, big ca big NPCs will uh, have a dismount zone around them. Ah, look at that. They'll have a dismount zone around them and they'll also have like a no clip as well. So that you can't block access to them for other players. Ah, dismount zones are fun. They're fun, but they're also like really useful, honestly. I like that they exist. Like, before I had my interact with button, it would have been, like, an absolute nightmare. Um, just trying to do a turn a quest in. Fair enough. Not a worry. Uh, just be careful where we're at when the thing magic when the when you put them on follow because this one's a bit of a messy one with lots of little obstacles and stuff you can get caught on. Um. Static form if you're out and back in. I'm not sure don't want to get drawn up. Why do you have to go out and back in? Like if it puts you on your ground mount, surely you can just interact with the creation catalyst in your ground mount. Okay, I thought you meant like out of the building and back in again. My bad. Sorry, if you've got a bound to a button, you just push the button twice. Like it's not. Yeah. But 
if like if that GCD is is that frustrating, if it's that annoying, then just like as you're flying in, hit your mount button so you dismount and, and land on your feet kind of thing. You can run out and straight away. Or have a button to shift yourself into cat form or something. Sometimes my brain is functional. Sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Oh my god, you guys. I'm look at this, look at this experience bar. I have 157 XP remaining. Fifty-seven. Stats are problems, yeah. <laughs> I love it. jump onto a horde again next. Lurking, have fun. Of course, Sam. Thanks so much for swinging by. Enjoy your lurk. We will see you next time. I'm walking and if you only get them out yet. Um, we did have one person get the White Hawk Strider from Magister's Terrace. Does that count? It's a mount. It may not be the mount, but it's a mount. Neke, Horde, Cade, Kim, and Durin, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Oh, excuse me. Just checking out my quests and 
stream rate is, making sure I'm all good. You have another better plan? You absolutely can. Of course you can. There you go. Battle plan complete. Thank you for asking. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Maybe get some tasty stuff from your quests. this multitasking. Tons and tons of time warp badges. Leveling. Couple of dings. And I get to play with you guys. It's great fun. Very much enjoying myself. What are your favorite time walking periods? Like, you know, the, which, which expansion is your favorite for time walking? I think It's a, it's a rough question. I do, I love Legion time walking. Because like the dungeons are still quite fresh and, and a lot of them have those little complex things that I really enjoyed. Plus you can get to the time walk vendor by just halving using your dollar and a half. Um, but also like Wrath and BC, are great because it's it's your old school dungeons and it's just there's so many memories in these places. It's great. Uh, Mop is always fun. Absolutely. So much fun. They've got some like Mop had some really good dungeons. Do you remember scenarios? Like those three person things? They were great fun. Really enjoy Mop. Fantastic. It's a good one. Good good choice. Good choice. Mop had some beautiful storylines and the dungeons reflected that really, really well. This is the first expansion I capped in. Ah, oh, lovely! Yeah, absolutely. Nostalgia, the nostalgia is big. It, yeah, wholeheartedly. Uh, I believe Jas started playing in Mop as well. I think he's a Mop baby. Uh, I guess I like the older ones. I've them repeatedly. For Transmog and actually have a clue, beautiful. Lovely. That's awesome. He does have some great memories, some dodgy ones as well. Heroic shattered holes. <laughs> Shudders. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I do love these old dungeons that like put you back at the start at the end of them. Like you wrap around in a loop or they put a portal out at the end. Oh, so handy, especially for transport hunting. My goodness. Beautiful design. Beautiful design. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the tail swipe. It doesn't look much like a dragon. Oh, damn it. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. To, yeah. Yep. That's okay. 
Hey. Deadly swim. Yeah, the piranhas will get you. Hey. That's all right. I'm kind of surprised it let me release in a boss fight, honestly. But that's okay. Oh, all Legion ones where there's an NPC at the end you can talk to, say you're done, ready to leave. Yes. Yeah. Really appreciated them when trolling through those. Agreed. Agreed. It is definitely something I miss in, in newer dungeons. Ease of exiting is, uh... Anything from our it's don't stand near the butts of big things. Yeah, but most like a lot of boss fights you need to stand near the butt if you're melee if you're melee so that you actually get your well, I don't know if you actually get bonuses anymore, but you used to get a bonus. You used to do less damage if you weren't behind them. Uh, but I, I don't know if that's still a thing. Butt or sides, dang it for you. I know, but like Look. It's not it didn't look anything like a dragon. How if it was a dragon, I absolutely would have stood at its flank. Like not any not anywhere near that tail. But it's not a dragon. It's a hydra. Like oh, at least just to get loot. Positional has been a thing for a few Xbox now, if I remember correctly. Fair. Look, I, I'm a mage. <laughs> I don't know. I'm ranged. Ah, oh, rogue names in this dungeon. Critney Spears and Vault Fiction. I love both of those. They are fantastic. Dragons, it was always back leg for me. Correct. It, that's exactly it. Water Dragon, look. look. Um, easy to remember. E. Absolutely. Oh, no, wrong way. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. I am very good. Very, very good. That map is 10 years old now. That's scary, isn't it? It's it's a little bit terrifying, yeah. Oh, I'm old. That's fine. This is the happiest I've been in my life, so... I ain't gonna let my age hold me back from that. Twenty-one going on fifty. <laughs> well, I'm thirty-two. So I've uh, 21 with 11 years experience. Forever 21, yeah. yeah. Even though those clothes do not suit me at all. It's a, it's a clothing store in. Well, actually, no, look, sometimes they do nice stuff, but. It's like, it's like formal dresses, but aimed at like late teens, early twenties. So it's not like super formal. It's like clubbing formal. Oh my Lord. Can I just. C2. Ah, perfect. Yeah, I know. Like I, I've said it a couple times cause um, there's another one. It has oh may, actually maybe I'm thinking of a different store. There, there's a there's one that sounds very similar. That's a really big chain in the US. That they just don't like. So anytime I say it, they're like, oh, do you mean blah blah blah? And I'm like, no. Nope. Not everything is like you know. Just because it doesn't exist in America doesn't mean it 
doesn't exist anywhere sort of thing, but maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Um, so I have 21 years experience of being 21. Correct. Exactly. Ah, oh, well done, Kim! Congratulations! Congratulations! These fears are just... Thing is a focus thing. There's nothing we can do about it, I don't think. As far as I can recall. Ah, uh, okay, we've pulled from the bag. <laughs> No, that was a shade appearance. Never mind. Never mind. Fake ATT. I know, right? I know. How cruel. Um, are you playing classic to get the mountain retail? Not right now, I'm not. I'm BC time walking. Hope you're doing well, Vale. Welcome back. Seems seems a little bit silly. Um, first Oh, fantastic, Meaty! Congratulations. That's fantastic news. Now we get out. Okay, good. Leave instance group. Talk about the training process, indeed. Even as you stop sleeping. <laughs> oh dear. Um, chat baby Winston. Um, you can type exclamation simple armory to get a full list of everything I have. Um, before you do the thing, or you can ask before you do the redemption as well. Um, because unfortunately with channel point redemptions, I'm not sure if you guys know, but if, if you've got something that can be redeemed once a stream, once someone redeems it, even if you refund it, no one else can take it. 
Um, so it makes it a little bit easier on the streamers if you kind of ask your questions first. But let me have a look. I do. I have a lot. So chances are I do, but like, hmm, sometimes I forget. Uh, okay, so I've turned that in. So I have 885 on Velatis. 885, and I have done my, what's it on the, oh, no, there we go. Um, right, so it's hoard time. I am going to take a quick break before we start, before we dive into the hoardie again, but I'm going to just check who I'm going to switch to first. So it's 55%. 91, 49. So I'm going to jump on Ulina. Uh, where is Ulina? There's Ulina. All right. Yay! I'm out of tanks now. Oh, that's okay, Crooked. Totally fine. Dragon hot get well done. 10 tunes the time walking done today, and one of those did the five runs. Well done. Oh, look, Ulina, perfect. I'm going to be right back. Um, this might be a good time for you to take a break as well. Go stretch your legs, grab a snack, grab a drink, uh, whatever you need to do to take care of your physical self because uh, just as important as mental health is physical and emotional self as well. So take care of yourselves and I will be back shortly.
Hello. I don't know if things are around the same thoughts. <laughs> no take backsies. Enjoy your evening in the bathroom, oh Lord. All right. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. Right. Time walking dungeon. Find group. This is a horde tune. Feel free to add yourself to the group from your friends list. Crunchy. Where is she? There she is. You should get us another ding. We're doing well. We're getting there. We're getting there. Gosh, I'm tired. I, like... <laughs> I just, like, every so often it just sort of hits me and I'm really sleepy and then I'm fine and then I'm not and then I'm fine and it's just, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I really hope that you guys are all doing fantastically well, though. Uh, and I hope that those of you who are coming to PAX are getting excited. It's Friday, right? So, what are you looking at? One, two, three, four weeks. And it'll be day one. Four weeks and it'll be day one. Oh boy. No, I'm not looking at my calendar. Nope, I refused. Gosh, I'm tired. Things for is every stream. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Some tunes on now, Scalsy DK time. Just vibing tonight. Yes! Day one for PAX. PAX Australia. That's why uh, it immediately preceded the, uh, I hope that those of you who are going to PAX are getting excited because there's only four weeks to go. PAX Oz. I believe that, um... Saturday tickets are sold out officially. Yes, Saturday badges sold out. Friday and Sunday still are available. So exciting, like full on. Full on. All right, how's the timer looking? 17 minutes. Okay, that'll be a little while. That's fine. Waiting is the hardest part. Whoa. 
Probably. I have so many characters to level. <laughs> I'm I'm so far behind. I know like four days doesn't seem like that much behind, right? But every every couple of days something is added to my calendar, which means I can't spend that day leveling, and I'm like, it's gonna it's gonna be rough. We absolutely can learn more. We absolutely can. Let's have a look and see. I know I've got some some assets somewhere. Give me just a hot second. Um, and let's see if I can find. So we all know that Are You OK is a, a mental health organization. That's the... is right so they have a guide that's called a gamer's guide to asking are you okay because uh, that's what we are we're gamers uh, so are you okay is an australian suicide prevention charity with a focus on encouraging people to connect and start meaningful conversations are you okay day is our national day of action held on the second thursday in september when we remind everyone uh where are we uh, when we remind everyone to have these meaningful conversations uh, any day they notice that someone in their community might be doing it tough. Uh, so how conversations can make a difference. When relationships with our friends, community and loved ones are strong, we're well placed to notice the signs that someone might be struggling. By trusting these signs, trusting our gut instinct and asking them, are you okay? We can help them open up and find pathways to support long before they're in crisis. While the signs can sometimes be subtle, there can be clues that someone's not doing so well. When somebody stops replying to messages, when they stop gaming, when you don't see them online as often, or might just have a gut feeling that something's not quite right. Don't ignore these signs. Find the time to ask, are you okay? You have the power to positively influence those who engage with your stream and game with you by encouraging everyone to connect and have meaningful conversations. This practical guide for streamers and gamers will help you share the Are You OK message and know how to have a conversation in person or online with someone who might be struggling. Um, so we have four things in the guide. The signs it might be time to start a conversation, simple practical tools to help you have a conversation, managing emotional reactions during a conversation and useful contacts for someone who's not OK. Um, I think people need to pay fear specifically to do leveling streams. Look, that would certainly help. That would, that would certainly help. Um, <laughs> sponsored leveling stream, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, what server is this tune? Uh, is it Horde? If so, Southank. I think it's a Horde we're on. This horde I would be missing. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty. Du -du 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 Hello, Scarlet. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Nug, Fell, and Sook, uh, welcome. Uh, congratulations on your bonus stuff. Well done. Well done. Uh, Alright, on to the next one. Uh, we're still waiting on a tank and a DPS to accept that um, Q ready check. Uh, so my first time in College of Monday. Fantastic! Congratulations! Well done. There we go. Just waiting on the tank. Of course the tank declined. I was sort of expecting it would like automatically repop, but that's okay. Um right, so. Uh, the first thing was the signs. It might be time to start a conversation. Um, so you can look at things. That, what are they saying? What are they doing? And what's going on in their life? Uh, if that's something that they share with you. Um, and we'll dive into that a little bit more when I'm a bit quieter. But yeah, are you okay? Like this, this resource is something that are you okay have put together using money that has been donated. Excuse me. Like this is... 
this is what your money goes towards doing. Like, if you are to donate to this particular charity, um, what you are funding is is people, staff, to put together these kind of resources, these kind of little mini guides, um, graphic designers to put together the posters for Are You OK Day that you see around all the place. Um, you've got people like, you know, marketing executives who reach out to all the different locations and stuff that they might put a billboard and organize for those things to be displayed. Um, and writers to put the guides together. Um, administrative folk who grab links from all over the shop, um, you know, for different uh, hotlines or different websites or, or different uh, organizations who target specific mental health causes. And they, they put them all together as, as one big resource. Um, so that's what, like, th those are just some of the things that our money goes towards. Uh, and it's, it's well worth it. Um, if they can save even one life, it's worth it. And I'm sure, I'm sure over the years they've saved plenty. Y'all know how close to my heart mental health organizations are. put on my emotions in which isn't healthy yeah look there is there's definitely there can be times where it's safer for a person to to you know do something else for a little bit but it is absolutely important that conversations are had um being able to have someone that you can talk to whether that's a, a friend or if it's professional support can be like it is is super 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 important i wholeheartedly agree that that's something that everyone should have and sometimes we don't feel comfortable opening up like that to the people in our lives every day like colleagues or friends or family or whatever it happens to be and, and that's okay that's why hotlines exist that's why helplines exist call some of them are 24 7 you can call any time day or night uh, others have specific hours. Some of the like the helplines, the generalized helplines, tend to be 24 hours a day, and then specialized ones. So like there's a, I know that there's a grief counseling hotline, for example, and I think that they have slightly reduced hours. Not not 24 seven, but like yeah, not like two hours a day either. But it's yeah, um, kind of like business hours sort of thing. Um, can, and then they can help with, you know, specialised care in, in a particular circumstance. Um, but overall, yeah, if, if you're struggling, there is help out there. Always help out there. So pretty bad trust issues. That's fair. That's look, that's the thing that people have and that's okay. That's okay. There are, there are multitudes of helplines and stuff out there who will wholeheartedly understand that because they're used to speaking with people with trust issues every single day every single day and they can help you through that imagine hello rorak welcome back i hope you're having a fantastic day don't like opening up to people understandable understandable some people find it easier to open up to a complete stranger because it's that whole, you know, you don't even know what I look like because it's over the phone. I'm never going to meet you. You can use a voice altering thing if you really want to disguise, you know what I mean? As long as you're, as long as you're understandable. doesn't matter what you sound like on the phone as long as, you know, you've got that person there you can talk to. Um, a lot of the time you don't even need to provide any identifying information at all. Um, obviously, a little bit of information to help them understand the problem or the, the issue that you're facing can help. Uh, but often, that's like, you don't need any other identifying information. It's really helpful. It allows people to just kind of get off their chest what needs to be gotten off and go from there. NRL, how are you? I'm doing so well, Rorak. I'm doing really, really well. I hope, I hope that your team plays well, if if your team is playing today. <laughs> I hope they play well and the game is supremely entertaining to watch. 
Uh, would you recap of the NHL Twitter classics between the Wild and the Blues? Fantastic! I hope you're enjoying that. Sometimes demographic info can help source funding or know who to target. It can, yeah. So when, when we're talking about identifying information, um, usually you won't need to give a name. And if they do ask for a name, you can always give a fake one if you really don't feel comfortable. Um, but things like whereabouts you're located, like state, age group, um, any diagnoses you may have, that kind of stuff can really help them because they have that, like that data can be submitted as part of their requests for grants from the government. Um, you know, the more grants that they can get from the government, uh, the less needed uh, these kind of fundraising days are. Um, there is not a whole lot of mental health funding in Australia. There's there's a bit, but not enough. <laughs> but then again, there's not enough funding for most things. And so, you know, when it comes down to those difficult decisions as to like where this funding needs to go, often that demographic information that's completely non-identifiable can really help. Um, but in the end, you need to do what you are most comfortable doing to get the support that you deserve. Because you do deserve support. Everybody deserves support. And it is there for you. It is there. The most difficult step is often taking that first one and asking for help. Be that, you know, asking a friend or telling the friend when they ask, are you okay? Being honest with them can be really difficult, but it is important. And picking up the phone and, and dialing the helpline number or logging on to on, online. Some of them have online chats that you can get help through and that kind of thing. Like, depending on where you're located, all these kinds of different options are available to you. And the first step is often the hardest. But once you get over that hurdle, the world opens up. Is that the final as you saw where he is? Sucked so far. Other teams? Brilliant. My beer supports me. Fantastic. I hope it's tasty, and I hope you have a really enjoyable time watching. Uh, challenges living at home, hitting the breadwinner, being without direction and work history. That is a big challenge. That is a re that is a really big challenge. Uh, I guarantee you, there will be people out there who can help you though, and we can help find some resources for you if you'd like to talk to someone on Twitch. Uh, there are a lot of free services out there, particularly with like, um, uh, with that, with, like work history stuff, um, finding, like helping you kind of get that step up in a career and, and getting a, a, finding a job that works for you. There are things like resume writing services or resume editing services where they can sit down with you and not just do it for you, but teach you how to write a more effective resume so that you can get, a, a, you know, a job that will help. Um, um, and helping find direction, sometimes having a sounding board who can ask, who you know, someone who has been trained and they know the kind of questions that will dig right into what, like, where you need to be going kind of thing. They can help you discover your own direction. And then, of course, you know, therapy can help with uh, sorting out relationships with others and things like that, or, or not necessarily, you know, fix a relationship, because some relationships can't be fixed. Some, some, and I'm not just talking about like couple relationships. I'm, I'm talking about a relationship that one human has with another human in, in of any kind. Um, and, and if there is intense dislike there, finding a way to, I guess, cope with that, not deal with it or get over it, but like live with it for as long as you need to, whilst making plans to get to somewhere else. To, to get away from the person who is affecting your life, if that makes sense. But all these resources are out there. Every single one of them. We can help you find some links if you'd like. Smash Paramedic Eels, fantastic. Fingers crossed. I love these guys, yas. I think I just dislike the summary of my father. I think psychologist very soon. Ah, oh, fantastic, I have a psychiatrist too, despite wishing I didn't have meds. Yeah, look, it's, um. I, I went through a bit of a similar struggle when I started with my meds, uh, genuinely. Like, um, it, it's kind of, you know, other people can do this without that. Why Why am I, does that mean that I've failed? Does that mean like this This is annoying and, and you know, I have to remember to take this bloody thing every day, but also like, why can't my body just work? Um, but sometimes our bodies, they, they don't work in particular ways. Sometimes that's as simple as not producing a chemical, and so you have to supplement it. You know, diabetes, you have insulin, you know, um, 
some types of diabetes and Yep, that kind of thing. Why and the sun well. this is kind of just... Aw, oh, Rorak! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you for your support. Um, and, and my particular body has some chemical imbalances that are a little bit more complicated than just needing to supplement it. Um, there's some stuff that's missing. There's some stuff where there's too much of it. Um, and some stuff just doesn't work the way... There's just enough of it but it doesn't connect the way it's meant to with the bits that are supposed to receive it. Um, so with all of that in together, for my body, f for me to be as productive as I want to be, I have to help my body out a bit. It's, it's just like an athlete strapping their knee, getting that extra support for that joint so that they can push their body harder. I need a medication, I need a pill to help out with some chemical imbalances to help me do what I know that I'm capable of, that my body just can't quite get there. Obviously that journey is gonna be different for everybody. Not everyone is gonna feel the same way I do about my medication. Not everyone is going to get there to, to like from where I was to where I am with that whole thing. But I'm really glad that you're gonna be having a psychologist soon. Cause psychiatrists, I mean, from, from my experience, the psychiatrist was just kind of like, like the, the whole, figuring out what's wrong so they can prescribe sort of thing. Whereas a psychologist, for me, in my experience with psychologists, has been more of like being able to go over how I've been feeling and how I've been responding to, like, so we'll talk about, you know, this thing happened to me and this is how I responded. I said these things in this tone. I did these things in this manner and all that kind of stuff. And then kind of breaking that down. Okay, why did I respond like that? Is there another way I could have responded? Is there a way I wish I had responded? That kind of stuff to sort of figure out what path I want to be on. And that, so I, I hope that, fingers crossed, once you do have the ability to see your psychologist, that they'll be able to help you do something similar. Maybe it'll be coming to terms with the medication. Maybe it'll be, um, you know, learning how to just disconnect from the relationship with your father you know in interact with them when you need to that the bare minimum like how to how to deliver the information that they need and then separate yourself from it or, or something like that like i hope that they'll be able to give you that kind of stuff um yeah hope it's a positive experience for you uh it's because i know without delirium that i'm mistaken for my diagnosis i'm just having is that a bit of meds? I'm having my blood levels leaking. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not really able to help much or I mean, like I'm not qualified at all in any way here, but um I'm I'm not really comfortable commenting on, on medical stuff because I, I I don't know. Um like I, I don't have any qualifications in that area that I can speak confidently about that and so I don't wanna, you know, spread inf misinformation or anything like that, but um, my, my biggest recommendation is to always obviously speak with a medical professional and uh, and speak to multiple if you can and if you need to. Uh, get a consensus on, on what's going on and, and see what happens from there. Um, but I hope that that's something you'll be able to do. It's your time watch TV. Enjoy, Rorak. Enjoy. Just some more communicative psychiatrists, some more medication and patronizing. Uh, I think that, like, I, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I don't think that psychiatrists are patronizing at all. I think that's an individual thing. Uh, you know, some people are patronizing and some people are not. Some people are psychiatrists and some people are not. Um, you may have had a bad experience with a particular or a couple of psychiatrists, but I don't think that that's an appropriate generalization to make personally. Um, hey, Ahit, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Psychiatrists are actual medical doctors. They are. They are, yeah. But that's still, like, nothing to do with the, uh, <laughs> patronizing thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really, really important for people to know that these kind of medical professionals are there to help. They, they are genuinely there to help. Um, and they are also human. You know, sometimes an, an individual doctor or other medical professional may 
feel very strongly that the that a particular diagnosis is correct maybe they've seen that a lot and so they have difficulty disconnecting this particular case from all of that experience that they've got but that's why we can go and seek second third fourth multiple opinions um that that is always available and uh if you have complicated medical issues sometimes it's a good idea to do that um but I don't think it's ever a good idea to dissuade people from visiting a medical professional if they need to see them. That is dangerous and unsafe. Inpatient not profession. It's literally true. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, alrighty, let's accept this and then we'll hop on out of this group. Yeah. Turn that in. So we've got 19.05 on Ulina. 19.05. And she also hit 57, which I am very pleased about. And that's a haughty. So let's find our alliance player with the most. So 69%, 64%, 92 and 83. So it'll be Nalana on Alliance side. All right, let's hop on over. Uh, so if any Alliance members are looking to do a BC time walking dungeon, I'm about to jump in queue. Hey, a Welsh, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Minority care, trans people like myself, for example, can be just completely wrong because there isn't enough of us for them to care, but in general, yeah, I agree. I, I don't think it's about them not being enough of you to care. I think it's more likely that it's not enough research for them to actually know with certainty. Um, like, it, it is, in terms of being a, a widely acknowledged social thing, it's fairly recent. That, I mean, there we've always had transgender folk, obviously. But it's only fairly recently that it's come much more uh, heavily into the public eye. And therefore, like, studies on this kind of stuff take a long time. A long, long time. There are a lot of transgender people. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, a lot of them may not be out about it. They might not be public. But there are a lot. There's So it's not a matter of there being too few. Uh, I think it's too few... Um, who have been out for a very long time, who have been, a, like, enabled us to do uh, more of those kind of studies and, and learning. Studies isn't always, like, prodding with needles and stuff like that. I'm talking about, like, interviews. That can be a study. Sitting down with people and just talking to them is a form of study. Um, so because it's not been a, a big societal... I'm trying to think of the right word. Not, not like concern or issue because it's not it's not an issue having transgender people is fantastic it's not an issue um but because they haven't because it hasn't been so widely acknowledged for very long there haven't been enough studies done yet yet just i know i know give give it time is not a very good solution i know it's not i wish that wasn't the answer um, but I do feel like given some more time, given time to allow these studies to be un undertaken and, and then peer reviewed and then published and then adopted into the, the general medical knowledge base, um, I think it'll be a hell of a lot better soon, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Because it's needed. It's really needed. Hello, Danny. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. You're managing again. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would suggest that there are more of us trans peeps in chat percentage-wise than general population. Yeah. I reckon so. I I would I would assume as much. Um, alright. So what am I? I'm not doing tank. No. Bugger off. This one. There we go. Alliance, I'm in the queue. 
Um, there are a good amount of peer-reviewed sources that completely disagree with most UK doctors. It's terrible. They treat us like monkeys or women, which just doesn't work. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> I wonder if... I wonder if that's got something to do with the fact that the people, like the, the UK doctors you're speaking of are like, have gone through their medical school and gone through their training well before this stuff started. Like not, not, I know that I acknowledge obviously that that's not a great phrase, like before it started, that's not how it has worked. Words are hard, language is harder. Um, and I do not, under any circumstances, mean to invalidate anybody's experiences. Not at all what I'm trying to get at here. Um, I wonder if they're stuck in their ways, which is not a good thing to be, ever. Especially in the medical profession where everything changes on the daily. But it's kind of similar to the when I was saying before about, um, like, if someone has seen this manifestation and 95% of the time it's ended up being this... So when they're confronted with a new case that fits in the 5%, they have trouble recognizing that it doesn't fit the fit the, the majority. Um, so now, you know, you've had this kind of case and they're like, huh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to treat this. Huh. My training didn't cover any of this. Huh. And then like they, they take the, the best stab that they know that their mentor has talked about once offhandedly rather than going and doing the research, which you know, as in like not doing the actual study themselves, but researching the peer reviewed studies that have been published, which is what they should be doing. It's yeah, I want, and I'm definitely not making excuses for them. Let me be clear. There is no excuse. If you are in the kind of profession that affects people's lives on this level, you should absolutely be doing this research. Uh, my psych when I presented a thing that I felt to them and they went huh I don't have any experience in this do you mind if we set that particular thing aside for today's session cover everything else and then next like between now and your next thing I'll go and do some research and then next session I'll come back with some more information I said yeah that's fine so we did that we had the rest of the session and then they went away and they did some research and then when I came back for my next session, they started out asking a bunch of questions. Like, I've, I've read this and this and this. Do you feel like that applies to you? Okay, cool. Now, what does this mean exactly? This this term that I found here, can you explain to me what that means exactly? Because I found a few different, like, what it means to you because I found a few different definitions and stuff. And we had that kind of conversation. And then she's like, all right, let's have a discussion about that. Now that I feel more informed, let's let's talk about it. That is a good medical professional. Like, absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, they're not all like that. And I think as we go through, as we're having new doctors graduating into the profession every every year, every six months or however often that stuff, it's not every day because I know there's not a graduation. Anyway, um, <laughs> and people going through their residencies and all that kind of stuff, they're learning about this as it's all happening. And I feel like they'll be far, far better doctors for it i just hope it kind of the transition happens sooner rather than later from from like the old guard to the to the newer folk who kind of grew up with this stuff you know it's yeah yeah there's also a good chance that some of them they want to understand but they have trouble wrapping their heads around it i know i've met a couple of people who have been like genuinely so well-meaning but they just can't comprehend what's going and it's yeah <sighs> isn't humanity magical there are so many different kinds of people in this world and it just it's so beautiful like there is no way one person could ever experience everything there is to experience in this wide wide world that's just magical and like that's i mean obviously i'm speaking as a, a cisgender white person which is you know from hell of a place of privilege so i acknowledge that that's not the experience for everyone um um hey amithril transmog woo yes transmog oh my god 
Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, good. I look. Words are words are hard, and sometimes I say something and then I go, "Wait, that didn't quite hit the way I wanted." Mm, bugger. So it, yeah, I I am glad that you understand. Um, secularism is a problem with doctors. I don't want to bring religion into it. I think it is open-minded. Huh? I don't think. Okay. Um. Stuck in their ways. Yeah, you meaning like they had their training before society accepted that we're people, so I don't need to worry about it. Not you, but society. Hang on. Um, are you meaning like they had their training before society accepted that we were people, so they didn't need to worry about it? Society. N less, less that, um, and more that like it's it's not about society accepting that your people I think it was more about like society it, it wasn't as big it, it wasn't as acknowledged in the social thing that like we know your people we didn't realize that this particular I'm trying to think of a word that isn't like medicinal or with negative co uh, context or anything but I, I'm really struggling to find one because it's like obviously you're you are people no shit, of course you're people. But it wasn't acknowledged that this was a condition of being. Like, like, part part of who I am is that I am female. Part of who you are is that you're non-binary. Like, it's, it's part of, like, before it was acknowledged that this was possible as a part of your being. Not that you're not a person, that it just, like, it was assumed that everyone ticked one of the boxes because that was how it was genetically. And so it wasn't, like, we didn't have people with double X chromosomes taking testosterone apart from itty bitty tiny doses for other medical conditions. So it wasn't even thought of as a possibility for you to need to learn about while they were in school 50 years ago. I, I th is that... I feel like I've just put so many feet in my mouth, but I'm like, I, I'm really struggling to put this into words and I sincerely, sincerely apologize if I do say any of this in, in a way that's just not right. I, I'm, I'm genuinely struggling. My brain struggles with words at the best of times and I'm, I'm very much struggling at the moment, uh, but I'm, yeah, I, I, I beg for forgiveness if, if I have said anything that's, um, yeah, I'm I'm struggling. Um, but yeah, I th I think I think that made sense. I don't know if it made sense or not. I think before society started vocalizing trans issues and needs. Yes, yeah. I was trying not to use issues because being trans is not an issue, and that was what I was trying to avoid saying. But I think I don't know that there's another word for it, and I'm sure. Like I know you can use the word issues in a different way as as well. So, um, look, <laughs> I'm sure you can tell that I'm struggling. Um, oh, doctors, I suspect they're talking about probably think it's just made up. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I think they struggle to comprehend it. It's like when you hand a grandparent a smartphone and they look at it and they go... Because they don't understand what they're doing. They don't understand how to use it. I think that's more what it... it I don't think it's... I don't... I'm sure that there are some who think it's made up and those people are assholes, but... I don't think that's the case for some of them. I think some of them genuinely just don't, they can't under- I had to explain to my father what transgender meant. And it took me about half an hour before he understood, before he kind of understood. Because he just, he doesn't- And he's a wonderful person. He's just never experienced that. And he doesn't know how that could possibly happen to a person, you know? And that's, so that's kind of, I think that's where, it's not from a- it's not from a malicious place. It's from a completely lost kind of place. Um, but again, this is me speaking for me, like as a cisgender person. So I feel like I'm not entitled to have an opinion on these matters. So I, I kind of, yeah, I'm, yeah. Um, 
Tuesday and Friday night, can't fucking spell. It's okay, Meaty, I'm, I, you're doing a hell of a lot better than I am. Hell of a lot better. People showing doctors and resources and being scoffed at. Yeah, well, those doctors are assholes, clearly. Like, yes, absolutely. That's not okay. Definitely not okay. I'm entirely trans on the mainstream, what I expected. I think on the staircase of these individuals. Quite possibly, yeah. Except you mean well, it has been trans trans people. But uh, my apologies. Did I. I thought I was saying trans people. I'm sorry, yeah, that's usually. That's. Like, I say, like, trans folk or trans people. I, I think I've said it, like, if you are trans, but I'm. Is that. I'm so sorry. I, I That's definitely something I make an effort to do. I must have slipped up my my sincere apologies. Unless I cut myself off halfway through a sentence or something. Um, Sahel, Maraxis, Cade, and Paul, congratulations to all of you on your bonus stuff. Well done. Um, this one, because I want the skin chest. Um. um. Oh, you're talking to Mithril! Oh my god, okay. <sighs> I just noticed that that was a reply. Jeez, look. Um, it may also be different in different cultures, straying as well. That might, like... It, it may be a thing, like, especially if you're talking about, if you're in Thailand speaking as a, a person from Thailand, that kind of stuff, it might, it might well be different. Um, cultures are just another one of those magical rainbow things around the world where everything is just a little bit different and it's beautiful, but also makes things quite complicated sometimes. Um, perfect. So what you're saying? Okay, okay, makes sense. When I say accepted as people, I mean lot less as people. Oh, okay, all right. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if still doing, we're not accepted as people. Let's see, sport. Yeah, sport is. Yeah, sport is... <sighs> Lord, I yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I wish I could like you ink them up here, but I I don't have that ability. Um. I don't speak for all trans people. Oh, of course, of course. And I don't speak for all cis people, obviously, either. Um, I, all I can speak to is my own opinions and thoughts, and even then I don't do a very good job of it. Um, I'm glad that you've been talking about these issues is great. I'm, yeah, look. <laughs> there are, I know, I know of quite a handful of people who are a little bit nervous about having these kinds of conversations because this is the problem, right? As a content creator on the goddamn internet, we say one little thing, we misword something. It, we have the right intent, but we say the wrong word somewhere and we just kind of go, ugh. And then it gets clipped and downloaded and posted all over Reddit. And then you're canceled and that's it. So I understand why people are, especially because I'm not a transgender person. I'm not, I'm cis. And so having these conversations, not from a transgender person's perspective can like I'm gonna make mistakes of course I am because I don't know what I don't have that experience and and so talking about other people's experiences is not always an okay thing to do but I'm absolutely like these kind of things deserve a platform I have a platform I'm not a part of that community but I can use my platform for that community regardless. I just need to make sure I do a proper job of it. And I need to make sure that I allow people from that community, regardless of what issue we're talking about, right? What societal thing we're, we're having a conversation about, we need to make sure that those people are able to have a voice and that it's not just me talking at them or me talking over them. And I absolutely use these kinds of conversations to learn, like, for real, because I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I have, like, over the years, I've learned so much from you guys. Like, so, and I'm so thankful for that. 
I'm so grateful that there are so many people in this community who feel comfortable sharing their experiences with me and, and opening up and talking about what they've been through and what they're dealing with and from, from all of these different perspectives. And I'm so thankful for that. But I'm still terrified of putting my foot in it. <laughs> because all it takes is once. And my platform is gone. And then I can't use my platform for good anymore. And so thank you to all of you who are comfortable having this. And thank you to those of you who, who criticize me and who correct me and, and who inform me when I'm wrong so that I can continue to, to use my platform for not just me. Because let's face it, I do use my platform for me regularly. But I also, <laughs> like... Yeah, that's, I, I think that that's, I think it's really important. But I also think it's important that you guys have your voice. You can use my platform to use your voice, but it needs to be your voice, not just mine. By the sun well. I think that's the end of my paragraph. <laughs> Slain, thank you so much. That's a resub, isn't it? Thank you so much for the resub. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. I am having a fantastic day. I am I'm definitely not freaking out at all. Um, but no, I'm I'm having a fantastic day, truly. I love that like we've gone on, you know, talking about are you okay day and mental health has brought us to this beautiful place of of talking about these issues and and hopefully everyone's doing a little bit of learning and um and, and, you know, that kind of, yeah. Sometimes sharing your experience doesn't necessarily mean sharing your experience. It means sharing in experiences that are around you. And, and yeah. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. And then you not get cancelled by accident. That's, exact, that's exactly it. That's 100% exactly it. Um, <laughs> and that may seem like a shallow thing, but I, I promise you it's, that's not, my intention, I promise. Presenting reason and argument isn't the same as presenting an opinion. You're doing great. Okay. <sighs> Definitely not having a panic attack. It's fine. I'm, I'm not. I'm actually not having... I do experience panic attacks occasionally. And I'm definitely kind of like... I can feel... I can feel my anxiety. I know... I know it's there. And it's threatening me. But it's... um, It's... It's chill for now i'm just sort of like you know when you get like a little bit buzzy in your hands and your chest sort of gets a little like just a little bit but i i don't feel like i'm heading towards a panic attack so i'm fine if if we get to a point where i am feeling like i'm about to panic um i will i will let you know and we will potentially change the topic but it's not because of you guys and it's not because i don't want to talk about this anymore it's about like managing my own stuff as well as managing the yeah but no, we're good for now. We're good for now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I, I figured it out eventually. <laughs> ah, put stand up. I'm an idiot. No, you're not, Mithril. You're not an idiot. You're absolutely not an idiot. Te like typing in text, like like typing, is is not the best. Like I get to talk. I get to like formulate thoughts and, and express them with my mouth, which is sometimes a whole lot easier than typing something out. Um, and especially when there are like, when, when you don't know, you don't know. Like how, can, like, how can you know what you don't know? That's impossible. You can't. Um, and so you, I'm pretty sure you had good intentions. And you were you you received a, a small tidbit of, of information, and now you know that, and you're totally that's okay. You are not an idiot in any way, shape, or form. Absolutely. Um, suicide in high school is scary because when you're going through the system, you feel the hundreds of people of the world, and then you're going in the real world, you realize high school is so inexperienced and the world's diverse. And the other thing, like you don't, again, with you don't know what you don't know. Um, I've often used the um, analogy of a toddler throwing a tantrum in a supermarket because they've been told that they can't have a chocolate bar. And they are screaming and crying and, you know, struggling to catch breath between tears and their face is red and they're 
kicking and, and screaming and beating their fists on the floor and and it's like it's the worst thing that's ever happened. But that's because it is. It's literally the worst thing that they have ever experienced in their two and a half years of life. And so when you're going through high school, I had the same thing. I my high school was not like there were there were chunks of it that were not a pleasant experience at all. Um and and now when I look back on it, I kind of think to myself, oh honey, if you knew what was coming. No. <laughs> no, it, it's it seems so inconsequential now. But when I was in it, it affected my every day. My my every day, my every like even the weekends, because I only had a couple of days before I had to go back to that building where those people were who treated me that way. But I, I distinctly remember people telling me, it's fine, it, it's nothing, it's just high school. But you don't know anything else. You may have some memories from, from primary school, but you don't know how complex the world can get and, and how beautiful the world can be once you get out of that, like, focused environment where you're with the same people all the time, every, like, you just, you don't know what comes next because you've never experienced it before. And that's why youth crisis lines and things like that are so important because you have people on the other end who are trained, who, who understand how full on that experience can be and, and can speak to a high schooler at their level, not down to them, but at their level with understanding of what high school can be like and what they might be experiencing. Like, it's it's so important that we have those lines and that's the kind of stuff that, that Are You OK can point you towards. There are so many helplines out there that are specifically aimed at youth. So many programs out there specifically for youth. And I think that's fantastic because what ha what helps for an adult isn't always going to help for a 12 year old or a 15 year old or, or anyone like, yeah, I, I believe that anyone up to the age of 25 can take, uh, can, can make use of youth lines. Uh, cause you, you know, at that point you're going through university or still through schooling. Right. Um, so yeah, that's, um, I think it's 25. Each one may be slightly different, but they'll, it'll tell you, um, where you where you're at, like where you find the number or whatever it is, it'll it'll tell you. Yeah. Lots and lots of resources out there. Pretty much what were you saying? They're just cancer, but then we don't need well without even saying thank you. I, I really appreciate that. And I like you guys rock. For for everything that you know, everything that may be going on in all of your lives at the moment, like you all rock. You have all made such a profound difference to my life. Genuinely. Like, and I'm not just talking about people who talk in chat. I'm talking about the lurkers as well. You all have made such a profound difference in my life. Uh, I would not be where I am without you. Obviously, for like with streaming and stuff like that. But I am not the same person I was six and a half years ago. I'm, I'm just not. Um, and, and that's thanks to you guys. And that's in a, in a positive way. Um, I've learned so much and, and had perspectives, like so many different perspectives that have been shared with me. And, and I deeply thank you all for that. Um... Willing to keep this boys not shut down conversation is really the definition of ally. Now you can make me cry. <laughs> I honestly, I. <sighs> right, okay. So the reason that this is happening is because I don't feel like I am. I don't feel like I do enough to proactively, like, help, you know? Um, but that's. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, we're good. We're fine. <sighs> Everything's great. Oh, you guys, I like to hope so, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. 
Trip for as many of us feel safe to have these conversations here. I am. I am so proud. So proud. Why are you running? Don't do that. Just, 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 just. They were not going to reset. Ah, uh, now I'm in combat. Oh no. 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 I just ran back. <laughs> ah. It's fine. It's going to turn around and smack me in a second. You watch. Also clipping out of context be five is clipping all this stuff <laughs> and hello slain thank you again for the resub i'm very slow look i'm eight minutes behind i'll catch up as quick as i can ah uh, it's okay to worry about the cancel culture <sighs> yeah you kind of got to sometimes hey yeah they do it i call that Todd logic <laughs> toddler and with a 10 year old today oh no so i believe in many ways run into one kid from the school today no way no way um Talking at the very worst, he attack a helicopter joke from a guy and you come in. Yeah. Yep, I report that. You can report it. You report it and yep. <laughs> Why does it think we still have. Oh, I might have another DPS win with this, so it's looking for a tank. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, oh, school's traumatic and so weird in my jokes. So much body mass, they stop messing with me, Jesus. Yeah, that's a... That's a thing. That is, I'm sorry. Um, when I went to this event, I was saying that everyone was pretty much hurting us because they were watching the Facebook. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's. Good boy. Good boy. That is full on. But remember, there is always support. Always, always, always support. If you're in a place where you feel like that's something that sounds like it might be a potential idea, there is support. Trust me, I've been there. And I've reached out. Once once it got to a point uh, and I reached out and um, here I am. It gets better. I know that, I, I know people say that all the time and it's like, oh my God, you're so frustrating, why? But it does, <laughs> it does, I promise you. Um, things that you never thought could possibly be po could could possibly ever be a thing. They can be. Sometimes it takes real hard work, and sometimes it takes walking through the darkest of places. But as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, there's a light. Might not be able to see it now. It's there. And and there are so many resources to help you find it. Are you okay? Dot org dot au is a great starting place. Especially if you're an Aussie. Uh, emotes! I can do that. Boop. Boop. There we go. I am mostly almost caught up though. Almost. Oh, I didn't get a res okay um all right uh, they just walked straight past me i was like oh okay um look i try i try mithril and sometimes it's hard like sometimes it is genuinely difficult to to stay upbeat and positive i i get it i absolutely get it um that is why resources exist to help. Um, 
if it's okay to ask, has of course it's okay. Of course, Slane, absolutely. Um, I'm behind, <laughs> surprising nobody. Um, where I've gotten a couple of dings doing this so far. Um. Oh dear. Is that another death? It is. Um. Yeah, it's I, I'm I'm definitely a bit behind and I've got like my my calendar coming up, my schedule is just it's bonkers. It's it is ridiculous. Um if you had told me a year and a half ago that this is what would be happening, I would have laughed at you. Uh but here we are, and I'm doing it. And uh so I'm busy as all hell and I'm really, really nervous that that's gonna like throw the the largest no leveling sized wrench into my plans. <laughs> but uh look, we'll see how we go. If I end up not making it, then I don't make it, and I figure something else out. It'll be fine. Excuse me. Behind Shadow Engine, basically, time walking a few tunes have dinged on these runs. I ha they have. Yes. Fear, are you okay? I am. I am. Thank you for asking. Um, I am behind on nearly everything that exists in my life currently. I am. Uh, I'm a bit stressed. Um, more more than a little bit. Um. I'm, but I'm getting there and I have plans to move forward. I have a fantastic support network. Um, people who are, uh, like people who are helping just like support and letting me rant at them. And then other people who are actually hands-on helping me with stuff. They're doing things for me that they are able to do. Um, so putting all that together means that I'm on my way. <laughs> like I'm on my way, but I am okay. I'm just exploding at the same time. But most of it, I'm busy because of good stuff. Like there's, there's like, not much that's happening in my life at the moment is negative. And that is not something that can often be said. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm very thankful. Are you okay? Are you okay, Meaty? Thank you for the Tiltify link there, dupe. We are, as you can probably see by this down here and the QR code up there, raising funds for Are You Okay today? Are You Okay is an organization. A mental health and suicide prevention uh, organization in Australia uh, and they rely on donations to help them keep up the work essentially uh, they act as a, a um, like not a repository but you know like a like a listing they've got resources for you know how to ask the question how to handle the answers from the question like what signs to look for in people all these kind of resources to help educate uh, to prevent you know things from, you know, prevent suicide, uh, essentially. And um, they also have a lot of links and, and stuff to direct people towards um, uh, towards resources that can help, things like helplines and, and other documentation and, and things like that. Um, they're a fantastic organisation. Uh, I have used their resources in the past, and I am certain that I will continue to use them into the future, and I would like them to continue existing. So here we are. All of the emotes! Amazing. I am tired from being close to the end of term, but otherwise okay. I am very glad to hear that, and I hope that you get some good rest soon. Like, some, some really good rest soon. You deserve it. I feel bad for you. I wish I could do something to help you out. I'm glad you have a good support network. It's very important. Uh, we might be Twitch chat. We're also here to help. I absolutely, Slane. And you know what? There is something you can do to help me out. You know what I'm going to say? Social media. And I'm, look, this is not just a self-plug. It is a genuine thing, right? My goal at the moment is to become a full-time content creator so that I can do things like this and use my platform for good more. 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 Bigger platform. More help. Uh, and to do that, to grow my platform, it takes takes you guys showing up to stream working if you need to uh telling people that i exist and like sending them my way uh, but also following on social media i have a, a twitter and instagram uh, uh what's the one with the youth tiktok and a facebook <laughs> the one with the youth is the tiktok and the one with the not as youth is the facebook yeah um <laughs> but like following on as many of those platforms as you have and feel comfortable doing um, and, and sharing it with folk, um, that will help grow my platform, which will help attract more sponsors, which will help in grow my income, which will help me become full-time. 
Like that's that's how this works. Um, and that and it's all free. That's a free way to help, which is fantastic. Free is good. We like free because we're all broke. We like free. <laughs> There's absolutely no need to feel bad. Just by being here in chat, you are helping me. I kid you not. The one with the youth. Look, sometimes my brain goes splat. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I've signed up to all the social media I can except Facebook. I don't have Facebook. Account. No, 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 no. It's totally fine. I, I definitely don't expect people to make new things to, to follow me and stuff like that. That's no, definitely not. But that's fantastic. Thank you so much for all of that. I very much appreciate it. Love that. From the youth to the old buggers. Look, I was trying to be polite. <laughs> I was, I was trying to be polite about it. I was like, from the youth to the not so youth, but like, yeah, look. look. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, the um, the the part that I'm really kind of learning at the moment is um, is content creation that isn't sitting here talking to people in chat like youtube and and well instagram mostly but all that kind of stuff that's like it's a different type of content and gosh it's so different so so different so i have like a a list of photos and videos that i need and every day i kind of do my dailies my, my rl dailies and then kind of go okay what's on this list that i can get done today and then i do it and then i upload it and schedule it to go live at a particular time and it, yeah it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's also I'm very much still in the learning phases. But I seem to be going okay because I've I've attracted a few. I've attracted a few people, so that's the thing. Uh, I hope I indoctrinate my spouse into the family by association when I go to bed, leave stream on the TV, leaves it on until he goes to bed. Oh, lovely, amazing. Ugh. I hope he enjoys the content. N no, I don't want to. No. And then we leave instance group, finally. That was a long one. Uh, you can call us Facebook era folks old. It's probably true. I was chatting with my folks a few days back and what I might do when I retire came up. Oh no. Oh no, you hoard lines this time. I don't remember. <laughs> that was that was like an hour long dungeon. Give me a second. Um, this is an alliance tune, so it'll be hoard next. Um, cool, so that's one, two, three, five on the Lana. Doesn't have an entry yet. Malana. A. How many did I say she had? One, two, three, five. We make that green, and I think she dings. Yes, she's fifty-seven now. Awesome source. Uh, so we're gonna jump to horde next. Where are we going to go? Uh, 55, 86, 49. So we're going to go to the 86, which is another, no, that's the wrong one. Okay. I was going to say another warrior, but it's not. It's um Elvian. It's a death knight. Another death knight. Cool. Cool. He knows all the in jokes at this point. Amazing. Amazing. Facebook is the place where we old people watch the TikToks. Yeah, I watch them on Instagram. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, or an insta. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, okay, we on my freeze for a bit longer. If there's gonna be another alliance run, I may join again. Uh, I'm hoping that there will be, because I'm just gonna ping back and forth between the two factions just constantly. So I think I think there should be. A, a lot unless this one goes for like two hours, which would like break my brain a bit. I had one of my kids, 18 year old, ask me if I was retiring soon. I asked, how old do you think I am? 30. Ah, oh, children, they know nothing. <laughs> That's great. Kids are ridiculous. Hilarious, but ridiculous.
Hello? What'd you say? Ooh, yay, Foob! I like Foob. Milk. Milk tea. That's a- hey, that narrows it down. Yeah, so like, half of the thing is in double. Well, what flavours do we have? Milk tea. Oh, we got some, uh, what's that other one? Tarot? Tarot. Oh, we do too. Actually, we haven't had tarot in ages. Let's have tarot. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, you don't, well, you can make yourself a different flavor. Oh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. All right. Tank! I'm the tank now. Whoa. Can I have lead, please? I don't know who that is, but can I have lead, please? I wasn't in the queue yet, so that wasn't a request to join. That was an inviting me. So, no, no, that's fine. As long as you pass lead, that's all you need to do. And then I can do the things with the other stuff. And I'm like, oh, 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 okay. Okay, that was... Alright, that's fine. Boom! There you go. Um, this one. Um... The runs. Yeah, not too bad! We had one just then that was like a total, like, it took forever because it was like a couple of wipes and then people weren't waiting for the people to get back and they wouldn't res them and so, like, it was just constantly feeding of corpses and so people left. But no, we ended up finishing it, so that was fine. Um, Father's Day thing, they asked things about the dead teacher wrote down their answers. Oh, perfect. Amazing, dude. Um, can decide if you're 42, no one near retiring! <laughs> Apparently I'm in my 50s. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're totally, totally fine, we do. Starring Fear and Captain Phillips, look at me, I'm the dank now. Correct. Correct. How do we do this battle thing? So, when I start up the next battle, it'll drop a link in chat, and you can click it. You log in with your Twitch account, and then you just drag and drop your units onto the battlefield. Uh, and then after half an hour, you can do that once every five minutes. Total of six placements. And then once all the placements are done, I push a button and we do this. Super easy. Fell, Pulse, Slain, Jeff, and Ducks. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Yep, not a worry. Sounds like a plan. Oh, skin chest. Skin chest. Are we in the dungeon? We are in the dungeon. Gosh darn it. Um, Centurion. Perfect. Done. Let's go. Pretty sure this is the one that I tanked last time I tanked as well, so that's nice. Wait, is my blade not reinforged? Oh lord. Do I have one in my bags? It is. Yes. Oh, I can't do that in combat anymore. I forgot about that. Great, official employee the Ministry of Finance! Ah, oh, well done! Congratulations! Congratulations.
things like that. So, um, they're like Ministry of Finance of which country they do. Like, I, I get what you're saying, and it is absolutely probably a good idea to not publicize your your employer on the internet. You never know who's lurking around or whatever. Um, but as long as you keep most of the information out of it, you should be okay. But that is also to say, like, if you if you share piece A of information here, and then piece B, and then piece C, and then B, like, if 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 you share all of yourself in different areas, there is always the chance that someone can put it all together like a puzzle, uh, like a terrible, terrible puzzle. Um, so it's, yeah, always worth keeping an eye on, keeping in mind that uh, the internet is not always a safe place. Um, so my will up. Green Cooper thing's fantastic. It's time to game since I'm still on COVID leave. Fantastic. I hope you're feeling better. How about hotkeys and we're making things easier? Ah, oh, fantastic. Gotta love some hotkeys. Uh, I said earlier, Earth was to their king. Yeah, but, like, do you know how many places in the world are part of the Commonwealth? It's, it's a big, it's a big thing. Uh, I have to go to work in 30 minutes, just dropping in to say it's great you're talking about mental health. Much love, everyone, and stay well. Absolutely, Jonah. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Work treats you kindly, and we'll see you soon. It's a good job, absolutely. Big congrats. Big congrats. five years together and a lot of hard work it is it's a big deal hey it's a lot of work but i'm glad that you're I, i'm glad you got there well done you well done you Lashes come off. Brand new lashes today. They're a little bit, uh. Look, it's interesting. Oh, they're running back, aren't they? Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Is that a boss? It is a boss. I wanna make sure they get to hit it. Yeah, I think my lashes coming off. <laughs> so if a mouse on everyone wants to keep hitting barrage, yeah. Yeah, there they are. Perfect. Ah, oh, oh, nice, Jeep. Congratulations. Well done. You are no longer I have not yet begun to I believe that was a ding.
Your hands drop so much if you want. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Yeah, that's um. That's a whole thing. That's alright. You'll get there eventually. You can buy them with Sandborn Relics from Xerath Mortis. That'll get you a decent upgrade. At least higher than 151, that's for sure. Um, looks fine in the UK. Look, it's almost like the system here. Teams are always open. Awesome, Jonah. Awesome. It's very generous of you to offer your time like that. Well done, Ventu. Congratulations. Welcome back. 500 hour to 26 MP since the M. There you go. Perfect. That's also quite easy. That's like, can go kill a world boss and then turn it in. I know, ZM right now, yeah! Do that thing, and then tell us how many item, like, how many levels your, your average item level jumps. Because that's always a satisfying feeling. Drink it's a low too. Ah! Got a couple things you could do. Time walking 200 hour level. Yeah, but then you gotta get the right slot to drop. That's the problem. When you buy a specific token for a specific slot, it makes it a lot easier. Magic gets in ZM for 500 armor 2. Purchase each. Ah, that's right. Like the actual time walking gear from the vendor. That's right. I thought you meant like that drops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's my bad. I love our faded raids gift in us to exchange for this trinkets. Um, that's uh, like, yeah, you've got to do enough bosses, enough individual bosses. So that can take a couple weeks to do that, uh, depending on where you're at with that whole thing. Um, it's not something that can be got like right this second, I don't think. Unless we're up to the point where it's just one week per dinner. I don't know if you have to do the first lots first. Ah, uh, Tom has been getting me. Sorry? We're not. Okay, we're not. So it still takes a couple of weeks. Um, time to move to six on the vendor. Yeah, I, I figured I it clicked. Uh, yes, we're aware, Ventu. We know. Um, tunes, yeah, for sure. I think I didn't get upgraded this time around. No, but it's still like. If you've got 151 gloves, Jeff, it's still an upgrade. Which is, like, my goodness, to be that unlucky. Far out. This is what I was speaking of. Just so much like anthem just changed its pronouns way easier than any transmission. The UK can. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, and then you have four more items for BC and the ten horde tunes of him. No, this weekend, yes! Amazing. I was shocked when I scrolled through my thing and realized that I don't actually need anything from BC anymore. I was like, what? Wh wh okay. Okay. Um, I am Coda. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. And I'm being rude. Why does every female streamer. <laughs> See, it's funny because um, most of the female streamers that I know don't have the Nana Leaf panels, but a whole chunk of the male streamers, or at least male presenting streamers I know, do have them on their wall. It's because they're fun and cool. Like, you can program them to do stuff when people follow or sub or raid or whatever. And, like, yeah, they're, they're a nice little background decoration thing if you don't have a green screen or if you're not a VTuber or whatever. No harm in it. But yeah, it's got nothing to do with gender. It's, yeah, got everything to do with the fact that we like glowy things. We, this is why we have RGB keyboards. Because <laughs> it's glowy and it's pretty and we like it. Same thing. Um, yeah, I've been listening to the mail streams all. Hey, Day, welcome back. We've been a good day so far. I am. Thank you so much for hoping. I hope you can say the same. Because they're pretty, yeah. It's like glowy in colours, like why not? 
They are expensive though, so I can absolutely understand if folk don't have them. Because they are they are pricey. When you do this as your job, you can afford to invest a little in what people can see on your camera. Make it more aesthetically pleasing so that people will stick around. Sometimes. Wood panel ones as well, not sure if they're new. Uh, they're maybe a year-ish or so old, maybe a little longer than a year now. They they got them, they released them just after I got these ones. Like they were they were teasing the release when I was looking on their website trying to figure out how to set these ones up. So they're, uh, yeah, they're a bit old. The newest ones they have, I believe, are the lines that are just like a bar that you can connect together. Um, but they do have a few new products because they just, they just recently celebrated their 10th anniversary as a company. Um, so that's a shared appearance. Um, so yeah, they, they have released a couple of interesting things for that. Mm. It's in a lot of glowy backgrounds, they certainly spice things up. Most streamers I watch. VTubers though, there you go. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm tanking, so I need to keep Ah, going. but drink, 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 drink. Thank you. Can you pop here for me, please? Ah. Thank you, I appreciate it. You've got Yay. a paladin, they can tank. No, they're the healer. No, they're not, never mind. No, we don't have a paladin. You've got you a warrior, about? they can tank. No. They keep trying to take, they, they keep taking threat off me and they've both Arrowstorm and Brimstone have died. Like, because I'm not able to hold threat off them. So I need to actually, see? Every time they go red, the red ones are ones I don't have threat on. Yeah, look, it's fine. I'm just doing the best I can. Um, we found little ones that came out nowhere because they're cute and cheaper. Yeah, nano leaf do smaller ones as well. But yeah, I've heard I've heard some good things about the um the the came out ones. I don't think they're quite as programmable to the level of. Like, I mean, obviously they can do pretty colors and stuff like that. But I'm not sure. I've not heard anyone talk about having them respond to like stuff in chat and things. But I mean, you don't necessarily need that. You know, that's. That's a whole separate subscription to a program who lets you do that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Hello, Chaos. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm loving the makeup, too. I think one of my eyelashes is falling off, though. I need to fix it after this dungeon. Uh, <laughs> the model you have. I don't hate the wood ones. Yeah, no, I think they're beautiful in the right kind of environments. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely lovely. They really like doing that, don't they? Yep. I told you, this is why I needed yeah. to not focus on, like, moving a plate. <laughs> I need to... Sorry. No, it's, it's not your fault. You didn't... How could you possibly have known? And it would have well, been polite. Um, I think your macro is missing. I don't care. Blood. I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I, I do not... This is a level 56 turn as well. So, I, ju I just don't care. It's just the blood boils the AoE threat. Yeah, well, I will get that later. I, I, what am I, I'm gonna, gonna go find it mid, mid dungeon? It's Not right happening. there on your number five. Yeah, but I have to hit that. I don't, I just, please don't tell me how to play. I'm... Alright, fine. Thank you, I appreciate it. No need to snap at me. I'm just being as polite as I possibly can whilst trying to tank these people. Thank you. Um, I get back here. Uh, I don't know, walking to certain homes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the, the kind of light they produce is a bit different too, because it kind of comes out from underneath the the panel as well. Like, the, the wood doesn't glow. It's sort of like a neon glow around the sides of it, I, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't quite remember. But yeah, it, it's definitely a different effect. Um, fun glow equals way better than flashing lights. The item level's nice, too. Well done. Well done. Confused. No, no, no. As in, literally, like it glows like on the underside of a car with neons. It does because the the wood can't glow. 
So it has a glow that comes out from behind it. Um, whereas these are actually made of lights. So they, they yeah. Yeah. It's, it's completely different, yeah. <laughs> Alright, after this I need to fix my eyelash. Ugh. Stretch my legs a little bit. You guys a chance to grab a drink and stuff too. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't even... Gosh. I didn't even, like, make the move to go to Shatrath. Whoops. So often it's just like sinking down and like I can feel it on my cheek. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. This is a haughty, right? I'm jumping onto Alliance next. Twenty-one ten. Beautiful, and she's fifty-seven. Woo! Okay, so I'm jumping onto an alliance tune next. So who's that gonna be? Sixty-nine, sixty-four, seventy-five, eighty-three. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go on to Xiaomi, who is another Death Knight. Amazing. Log in here and then I'm gonna go take a quick break. Yummy.
legs are stretched. I hope you all are feeling comfortable. I like food. My food likes me. Oh. How do I change from world quests to doing the quest lines in Shadowlands? When I first get to that area, I get an option to choose. You can't change back. You either do the storyline, or you do the world quest stuff, which is called Threads of Fate. When you select Threads of Fate in Ouroboros, in, in here, you get a box that comes up, and you have to type Fate in, like F-A-T-E. And that box says, if you read it, it says, once you in it, once you activate the Threads of Fate, you cannot go back. Make sure you want to do this before typing it in. And so when you type it in, that's your agreeance of, yes, I know I can't reverse it, I want this. And then it puts you in Threads of Fate, and you can never go back. Not on that character. Each character gets the option to make that choice when they get to Ouroboros. If you choose Storyline, later on down the track, you can switch to Threads of Fate, but you can't switch back. Uh, but welcome back. Shish, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, all right, here we go. Alliance character. And it's a DK. Oh, oh, and it wants tanks. So it's going to be quick. If you want in, you're going to have to be quick. Could you still pick up the quests manually though? No. The story, so when you, when you activate Threads of Fate, all of the campaign storyline quests are flagged as complete on that character. They cannot be done because technically they've already been done. Um, that means that also when you activate Threads of Fate, all of the transmog from all of those quests automatically becomes unlocked uh, if they haven't already. So no, you cannot do the campaign quests once you've activated Threads of Fate. There are side quests you can do. Like you can hunt around and you'll have the little exclamation marks. Do, 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 do. Like these ones, the little yellow one there and the yellow one up here and then the two over here, and then the one down here. Those ones are side quests, you can do those, but you cannot do the campaign quests because they are already done from a technical standpoint. Uh, I forgot about that. E, can you time walk in that instance? What instance? Oh, if, if you're in, no, no, yeah, time walking's totally separate to choosing leveling shit, totally separate. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's two different features, two different uh, systems. Uh, all these tunes are in Threads of Fate. Yeah, these lashes are not as flexible as I need them to be just yet, and they keep unsticking. Only on that side, though, which is good. Good evening, Trud. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Are you joking? I'm a tank again, and it's the same instance. Not as much. Need your turn walking. Be a quick, way perhaps to get you some levels. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's that's literally what I'm doing. I'm I'm going through and finding which characters are closest to getting a ding, and and taking them through a dungeon. It's <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to squeeze as many dings out of it as I can. Midday. You know, should do it. Oh, Trud, I'm so pleased. I'm so so pleased. I hope work treats you kind, more kindly in in the coming days, and that you enjoy your weekend. I don't know if you work on weekends, but I hope you enjoy your weekend anyway, regardless. Position threads. Ah, right, right. Okay, gotcha. That makes more sense. Yes, good. <laughs> Fantastic! Thank you so much for your donation, Jonah. Are you okay? Thanks you and appreciates your contribution. Well, I mean, I'm assuming they do. I'm just gonna 
speak on their behalf for a moment. <laughs> Much appreciated. So very generous of you. Um, okay, next month. It should get better. Look, I um, yeah, I I know the feeling. Um, <laughs> I am I am a I am a busy bee. Let's just put it that way. I think that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. No, not at all. That's not. I'm I'm definitely a bit brain fried today. Take care, everyone. You too, Jonah. You too. Hope work treats you kindly. Oh, excuse me. Oh dear. Uh, all right. So that's a battle, but I'm also tanking. So this is going to be a little bit fun. Mm, no car horsey. Next time. Next time. As always, next time. I'm disappointed to see you haven't had your mandatory shouted chat. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> I should have pre schools I go easy on them. They're trying their best. It's totally fine. Totally fine, dude. I am also trying my best, so no need to worry. I'm not a good tank. Like, I, I know I'm not, but here we are. Oh, don't forget you lot. We have an announcement on Sunday. Trying their best to pull aggro. Right. Right. Well, if you want to if you want your character's life to end momentarily, then that is that is your prerogative, I guess. But um look, I'm I'm trying to protect you here. Um I got a skin! Ducks, infamous and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your bonus stuff. Um, give me just a second, because I am tanking and I don't want to hold people up, so I'm trying to pull a group and then sort of alt-tab, but this group is very high DPS, so I'm struggling with this. Okay, there we go. Um, got a skin, I'm so excited. Is an announcement? Yes! To the rest of your stream, raising funds and awareness. Thank you, Media. I will. And thank you so much for, like, being such an awesome contributor to this channel and the safe space and... And for helping me learn, genuinely. I, I appreciate you very, very much. Um, cool, so that's there. I'm gonna... Good enough. Uh, you, you can go there. <laughs> I don't even look. It's just a whole thing. I reminds me of the keyboard might be a legend. G nine one five still no filler code discount. No, nope. Um, it's a it's a really tricky one. Um, because they're in so many retailers and that kind of stuff. It's just it's really difficult to kind of work out. So nothing as yet. Trust me, that one there will be no waiting for that announcement. It will be posted straight into the Discord as soon as I know. Um, <laughs> but thank you for checking regardless. I very I very much appreciate it. Shiny, yay. Oh, so, oh, fantastic, Doran. Congratulations. You are Congratulations. No yeah, I don't think the, si the sound effects are working at all, and I don't know why. I need to, like, look into it and, and figure that out, but, um, yeah. They're all turned on. They've got the right sources, the sound, and all that, like, the, the right, um, where it's going for the sound and everything. I, it's just not working, and it hasn't been working all stream, so I'm gonna have to do some tests and stuff. Uh, after stream, I think, and figure out what's going on. An educating society, thank you. Thank you for your patience with me as well. It's like, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. <laughs> Educating. With the J as well, yep, yeah, the J is very important. 
there any old school blacksmiths among the people here? Ooh, maybe? I'm not sure. Ooh, I just dinged. Um, I know. Oh, ah. <laughs> I was hoping to skip those, but that's okay. Um, I know I have a blacksmith in character, but I don't know, like, how old school you're- like, if, are you looking for a recipe? Are you looking to reminisce? Are you, like, what's- um, what's the go? You, we might have someone in chat. Maybe if they're not an old school blacksmith, maybe they might have farmed up the recipe you're looking for. Do you mean IRL? That's another good question. Didn't even think of that angle, dude. Well done. A blacksmith. Brilliant. Mm, you're taking these little time for thought. I know, right? As soon as, as soon as you enter tank spec, your brain just kind of goes, yep. <laughs> yeah, I have a project or two for that guy. Fantastic. Did you guys want the boss? Like, Brought the poster with it. I think I need to wash those coasters. And we should tell, well done! Well on your way. Another smith who did wrought iron stuff, no forge was involved, and he also wasn't black. Fair. He meant in game. Yep, so you've had a couple of responses, Shish. Um. In chat, you just have to have it read. <clears throat> I think one of them ta uh, tagged you, so you it should be like highlighted for you. Often keys have recipes. How many key are needed to get a recipe? Ooh, that's probably a good question for Wowhead. Um. Unless someone knows that off the top of their head. I don't even know about Coral Fang Keys, so yeah, it might be worth checking Wowhead. <laughs> Yori. Is, is a cat butt. <laughs> but then they're crocheted, so I need to like... I need to like wash them, because they're... Obviously if it's sticking to the bottom of it, it means something sticky. Oh dear. There a rish. I don't know what a rish is. Oh, no, not that we're aware of. 
Um, there's no no end date is mentioned anywhere, so we're fairly certain it's going to be okay. Um, no, no, no need to apologize. Typos happen all the time. Um, I just wanted to. I, I I had no. I didn't even think of the word rush. I was just so confused. <laughs> so no, no, totally fine. We've all done it. Oh geez, RNG could be the number of recipes. Yeah. TV just told me you had sticky cat butts and needed to come back and say, I'm um, what? Yeah, I have sticky cat butts. Um, so my coasters are crocheted cat butts. And when I picked up my bubble tea, it stuck to the bottom of it. So clearly the coasters need to be washed. Goodness sake. Actually, are there... Yeah, there are in the next room. That's fine. And I've been suddenly making all the items again. The mug's amazing. It is such a big project, hey? Like, it's so huge. So much to do. I've got, like, a stockpile of materials on a couple of characters to start doing that, but, like, I do not have time. <laughs> I'll get there eventually, one day, in the far off distant future. I don't know what I want. Curses like that, I know, right? Good night again. Rest well, meaty. We'll see you next time. Shade appearance. Doing razor retentions. Those can also drop. Unless they're not Maldraxxi cat butts. <laughs> How many gems BC had? Oh, so many. So many. It's just a little bit ridiculous. And so many of them, like, did. Well, BC was when jewel crafting was introduced, right? Or was that Wrath? I'm pretty sure it was BC. No, because I remember getting them from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, like, get a meta and three slots in your. three sockets in your hood. And a lot of them couldn't be cut. A lot of them only dropped, which is weird. Like, um, thanks for charity. Thank you, Sass. Much appreciated. I hope you rest well or have a good day or whatever is appropriate for your current time zone. <laughs> Was a shit appearance as well. That's all right. Um. Okay. Blue vial. Thank you. I missed a mutated flesh lasher. I wonder if I can kill it by myself. Oh, but then no, because then we missed the bot. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Oh, no point. Uh, I missed two somehow. Yeah, no, so did I, but that's okay. Like, because when you finish that one, you've got to then get another quest anyway, so there's no point. I'll just do it again if I get that dungeon again. Okay. So, Xiaomi. It was Alliance. I am How many badges do you have? Well. 890. Amazing. Uh, and you are now 56! Another ding. Great success. Um, she's Alliance, so we're going to go to Horde next. 55. 78. 49. So it'd be the 78, which puts us with Lower Luna, who's a paladin. Has been for a while, my back on the latest night. Absolutely not a worry. Not a worry. Um... No, oh, I'm alliance still. I need to switch first. Um, how's someone going? Very, very well, thank you. We had one dungeon that went for like an hour and a bit because people would like just kept dying and, and then people left and blah 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 blah. But apart from that, I'm doing really well. I'm doing really, really well. And talking a lot about mental health, which is great. Sharing the message, you know, ask, are you okay? It is okay to reach out for help. Uh, I was amazed when- oh, welcome back, Jack. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. I was amazed when I came back to how much more streamlined JC is not compared to the original, both in number of recipes and how the sockets work. Oh, absolutely. There are so many fewer sockets, though, as well. Like, it's a bit- uh, yeah. Ah, uh, well, there you go, then. Lots and lots of information for you, Shish. Better off doing raids or heroic dungeons where the plans can drop. Um, oh yes, I know right up. I think it's paladin time. I feel like they could expand JC, add a few colored sockets and more interesting stats. I mean, they did have like colored sockets and that, like back in BC and, and Wrath and stuff. Um, and then they kind of pared it down and, and made it simpler and now you don't make quite as much money from JC anymore. Um, but yeah, it used to be like that back in the reforging days. Uh, we are doing random time walking dungeon. Find a group. This is a horde tune. If you want to join me, do the thing. Gems are boring. Didn't really have a choice. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, you did. You like you had your stats that were on the particular colors, and then you had the like the the primary colors, and then you had like oranges and purples and greens, which had like half and half. From I did like how that worked. Like it made sense. It was a logical system. Um. But yeah, it was all just like crit and hit and haste and int and stem and blah 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 blah. So it wasn't, um, you didn't have like, you know, weird effects and stuff like that. But given how many sockets you had, I think if they had weird effects, it'd just break stuff. It'd be too many levers to have to adjust. Um, having straight stats is a lot easier from a thingy perspe perspective. Um... I'm afraid they're trying to do math to work out whether to put suboptimal gems in to get the socket bonus or just ignore the socket colors. Yeah, I had Roar. R-A-W-R. -R. It was originally, it was a program that you downloaded and had to keep updated and stuff. Uh, and it was originally just for druids, but then they expanded and added almost every other class. Um, and I used that and I simmed. I simmed my mage. A lot of complexity for very little choice. Yeah, that's that's a perk. That's fair. Are you on Sourfang USA? Um, yes, but I, it is an oceanic server. Um, it's part of the North America and Oceanic region, but it is still an oceanic server. That would be handled by just Simit now. Correct. Correct. That's the thing. They can make it as complicated as they like. We're just going to plug it into a system anyway, so they might as well make it simpler for new players. That's the problem, right? They're trying to, like, look at the new player experience and look at chromie time and all this kind of stuff. It's all designed to try to attract and hold onto 
new players. Because beforehand, people would get in and go, oh, Jesus, this is too much. And then they'd leave. They're trying to keep those new people. So they're trying to keep things simple. Whether or not they're succeeding is a different matter. Player doesn't necessarily know what simming it means. It's very good. Okay, she can mount. It's right next time. I'm not sure if it's still useful, but Simple Armory used to have a really great tool for like a trip around the entirety of Azeroth hitting up all the raid bosses that drop mounts. And like then, you know, set your hearth here and then go here, then go here, then go here, then hearth, then go here, then like it was a really good route. Um, but I'm not sure if it's got all the, I'm not sure if it's up to date for Shadowlands. I haven't used it in a while because I've got, instead of like doing a route on one tune, I bash my head against one particular mount with all my tunes. So, <laughs> slightly different strategy. Place for flowers for rip. I did many a moon ago as well. Thankfully, I'm uh, I'm exalted with all those old school reps these days. But um, yeah, it was a it was a journey. It was a journey. references to Oros, etc. Oh, fantastic! That's really good. Brilliant. Thanks so much for confirming, Duran. I appreciate it. Yeah, if anyone is wanting to mount farm, but like ha with one tune. Um, or only a couple of tunes, whatever. It's a really great resource for, like, hitting up all of the mounts. If you're not just, like, going for your favourites or whatever. If, you're, if your aim is to collect as many as possible. That, that like, mount farming planner or whatever it's called is a really, really good little tool to be able to use. and call it a day. That's fair. Definitely fair. I do love how it says walk to Nazmir from Zordazar. <laughs>
I'm Dragon Soul FML. Ah, you'll be fine. Like once you get the the side to side little scoop thing down, it's not it's really not that bad. There's a lot of um there's a lot of chit chat, but like if you get up to the top when you get up to the top with all the, the dragon aspects, if you talk to, I think it's Kallik, and get him to send you back downstairs and then fly back up again, you save maybe 10 seconds because they're still talking, but the portal appears. But more importantly, it feels like you're doing something. You're not just sitting around waiting. And so it makes it feel like it's going faster. And that we all know that's what's important. Um, is he just time me? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Definitely agree on that. But, I mean, the other option, of course, is to, like, well, not option, but, like, making sure you do jump around tunes on that and make, like, you can collect the transmog as you're going. Because that's something that I've, um, not really done. Like, there are all these, these, um, raids where I have so much transmog left to collect, but I've got the super rare mount. Um, because I just, I did it all on fear instead of, like, rotating around tunes to try to get more transmog going. Um, yeah. Nixia's lair, on the other hand, is pretty much done, because I ran through all the tunes on that. And I think it's only like there's maybe one or two classes that don't have that have missing like one piece each or something. Which is kind of hilarious. True E still struggling with Death Throwing Fight. Which one? Like the spine or madness? First one or second one? On his back or with his talons? So many differentials, aren't there? The spine? Ah, I didn't BFA. Right. So, like... Yeah, it's... The, the mechanics are really interesting. Um, but, like, just scooting from side to side and like gathering a whole lot of um, ads at once, making sure you take off any kind of gear that lets things spread. Don't use any abilities that can spread or cleave, that kind of stuff, and just knocking down the ads one by one and taking your singular ad. Like it's, it's time consuming, but once you remember the mechanics, it's really easy, especially when it's solo and you can just one shot everything. Classic more than retail at the moment. There you go. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. That's fantastic news. Um, so absolutely not is what you're saying. But yeah, remember if you can solo a raid, don't share the lockout. If you can solo a raid or a dungeon, do it by yourself. The only time you should ever mount farm in a group is if you cannot do it by yourself. <clears throat> it will not drop multiple mounts. Ever. It can't, like the only one that does is Jaina and she'll drop two, but that's it. Uh, yeah, I would advise against it. Considering just how easy DS is to run, you can absolutely do it in two separate runs and there's a chance that you both get the mount. You both get both mounts if you're on the right difficulty. Um, but if you're if you're in the same raid, only one of you can get the mount. Like, yeah, it's, it's just not worth it. You can run it together as in like, you know, screen share on Discord and stuff like that so you can like see what the other's doing and that. But like, I highly, highly recommend against running soloable stuff in a group. In a party. Uh, or two runs is faster than one with more people. Yeah. Okay, two more segment. Uh, that would be a better idea. Screen share and show. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you're always welcome to do that in our Discord. Like, always. That's what it is there for. It is there for use communication and sharing and all that kind of stuff is why we've got a couple of channels that aren't locked and then hidden and blah 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 blah. It's so that you guys like if there are multiple groups of people who want to do stuff and they don't want to be talking over each other, they can. Uh, if we need more social groups and more social channels, I will make them. I am happy to do so. Um, 
but I don't think we do at the moment because I don't think they get very much use. But for sure, jump on in there, share your screens, do it that way. But yeah, I would love to see more of the family get more mounts and running it together is unfortunately not the way to do that. What did I get and is it actually a thing? Oh my gosh, that was actually new. That was new. I think. Holy cow. Amazing. Actual transmog. Aren't we all proud? All right, out we hop. Uh, yeah, Jack, the sound commands are broken. Um, I turned them all back on after Monday's sponsored stream, but they're not, they're just not behaving. So I'm a bit confused, but I will look into it after stream and figure out what's going on. They're all turned on. They're all, um, like, the, the files are still in the right place with this right name, and, and the it's directing to the right sound source and all that kind of stuff. It's just not working. So it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Um... Connecting stuff, but yeah, and exactly, you can you can definitely like you can show each other like on you can screen share and just say like this is how I do this or whatever. Classic. Oh, looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> Another round. Happy to go to DS after this and screen share. Just doing that because I got new two. Ah, oh, fantastic, Jack! Congratulations. Good luck, friend. All right, lower lunar is at fifteen sixty. Amazing. Um, and she is 57. Nope, that's wrong tune. 57. And we are at 69.00%. Beautiful. Such a beautiful number. Uh, right, where are we going next? So this is Horde, so I'm going to jump onto Alliance. 69, 64... 75, 77, ooh, it's a monk. All right, on we hop. So ATT Sandy, yes. Should I kill everything too soon? Maybe let me some blades on. Yes, you need to not do that. The only, so the way that the, there's, there are a couple of different types of ads and the ones that are the big dudes, um, they have to, when you kill the slimes, they drop a puddle and the big dude has to go over the puddle and soak it up. Once they soak up 10 puddles, their belly gets round and then you got to take them over to the plate that's kind of wibbly wobbling. You take it up to it, you kill it and it explodes, blowing the plate up and then you kill the tendon holding it down, like both of them, and then it flies off and you do that three times. So if you kill them too fast, they won't get the buffs, like they won't grow and they won't become explosive. It's very much an add control fight, not just add kill, add control. It's very, very specific. Um, it's really cool. Like we've never, I don't think we've ever had like mechanics like that since. And I think it was because everyone was pissed with it, but it was really interesting. Um, heavily damaged during Wrath pre-patch and rebuilt, I believe. Yes. Yeah, just AFK for like 20 minutes. Go do something else. Perfect. Just kill over one tendril and we've decided to have the 10 slimes. She said you stand the crater of a dead tendril and be anchored. You can, but it's kind of, especially with the like blizzard alert that says consents people, if you just kind of scoot and scoot and scoot and scoot and scoot, and that's, yeah, that's it. And the mechanics which involve DPS not DPSing something usually result in catastrophic failure. You are not wrong. Also refer, like, whirlwind, AOE. Mm. You're very welcome, Duran. Very, very welcome. Slain, Krugan, Neke, Silver Molly, and Kim, congratulations to all of you on your bonus stuff. Well done. I probably did DK starting zone on Wrath pre-patch. Indeed. Well, I mean, there is no finish date on this. Like it it doesn't say that it has to be done during the pre-patch. It doesn't say that it has to be done by a certain date. So I think you've got a bit of leeway with it. Um, but I'm not too sure. Um, they haven't announced anything. I feel like they would have said very clearly um, to avoid, you know, all the tickets and stuff people opening if it was a problem. My first thought is murder. See iron docks? Yeah, look. I want the mat. It is a gorgeous mount. It's very, very pretty. It's not round a bun. 
What's for noms? Uh, teriyaki pork. I had some pak choy that I've eaten, and I have broccolini that I'm still munching on. It's delicious. It's really, really good. I've learned when I'm an undergeared blood DK to not invite 298 rep values to my keys. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. My first project. Ah, fantastic! You can always have me come along. Mm. Oh, we need to like book in some time to do some keys, I reckon. Um, Because I am not going to have time otherwise. If I don't actually set aside time in my calendar, it's just not going to happen. Um, So that's a problem. Okay. There we go. The Alliance Q has been joined. I'm taking up a car. <laughs> Callie interrupts Balkan. Oh no. Slowly falling in love with pasta salads. Ooh, yeah, pasta salads are delicious. Very tasty. Just breath matter every smaller than seven sound good <laughs> oh dear I reckon this might end up being my final dungeon depending on how long it runs it could be super quick, but given that we're going to be in queue for about 10 minutes. Um, excuse me, right, so we were talking before a bit about Are You Okay? And um, the, they've got a, a guide for gamers. A gamer's guide to asking, are you okay? Uh, and one of the contents they have here is uh, the signs, it might be time to start an are you okay conversation. If you've noticed a change, no matter how small, trust your gut instinct and ask, are you okay? It won't always be obvious when someone's not doing so well, but these are changes you can look out for that might signal they need a bit of extra support. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's great always to, to ask someone if they're okay and just do a check-in with them. But when you notice signs of like, like if you notice these signs that, that something's not okay, sometimes asking somebody directly can give their brain permission to spill. To, to talk about what's going on. So what are they saying? Do they sound confused or irrational? Moody? Unable to switch off? Are they concerned about the future? Concerned they're a burden? Lonely or lacking self-esteem? Or they're concerned that they're trapped or in pain? Um, uh, what are they doing is another thing to look out for. Are they streaming or gaming more or less often? So if they're throwing themselves into something and, and spending every waking moment doing like streaming or, or gaming, uh, or if they're withdrawing from it, a hobby, you know, something that they enjoy and they're withdrawing from it. Um, are they experiencing mood swings, uh, becoming withdrawn, changing their online behavior, losing interest in what they used to love, unable to concentrate, less interested in their appearance and personal hygiene, uh, behaving recklessly or changing their sleep patterns. These are all signs that it might be time to have a conversation with a person. And what's going on in their life? 
Have they experienced relationship issues, major health issues, work pressure, or just constant stress, uh, financial difficulty, or the loss of someone or something they, they care about? Um, so there's a website here. It's ruok.org.au forward slash signs. As in signs someone is maybe not doing okay and could do with a conversation. So simple steps to an are you okay conversation. Uh, getting ready to ask, you be ready, be prepared, and pick your moment. And then when you're having the conversation, ask, are you okay? Second, listen. It's a really important bit. Like actually listen. When you've asked somebody that question and you've made that commitment to them, make sure you're there for them to actually talk to. Like listen to them and say, see what they're saying. Uh, encourage action, you know? Let's find some resources for you. Let's find someone for you to talk to. Uh, you know, it could, it could help. It could really help with your situation. And then checking in at a later time. That's number four. Uh, so when you're getting ready to ask, being ready, are you in a good headspace? This is important. Sometimes you might be struggling just as much as you feel like they might be struggling. It's something that I talk about often is taking care of yourself before you take care of others. It's the whole uh, the analogy of having a cup of water and if you're, you know, if someone's thirsty and you pour a little bit for them and you pour a little bit for them and you pour a little bit for them, eventually your cup is going to be empty and you can't help others if your cup is empty. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and make sure that you are in a good headspace to hear whatever they may say. If you're not in a good headspace to hear what somebody else might be struggling with at the moment, Now's your chance to seek help. That's a really good indication. If you've checked in with yourself and you're like, huh, I'm not okay, reach out. There are resources available to you and they will help. Are you willing to genuinely listen? There are some people in our lives that we just don't care about. It's harsh, but sometimes there are, there are colleagues that, you know, maybe you don't get along with particularly well or there's a family member who is just kind of a bit abrasive or not accepting of you or whatever it happens to be, if you are not willing to listen to what they have to say, don't ask the question. Because if they do, this is the big thing, right? If someone who is in a struggling place and someone reaches out to them and they go, oh, and they open themselves up to them and that person just goes, oh, yeah, okay, whatever that they're not going to reach out again. Like they've, they've tried, they've, they've made their attempt failed they may not risk taking that chance again so make sure that you are ready you are willing and ready to genuinely listen and can you give as much time as needed but this is in with pick your moment i reckon as well um if you're ridiculously busy or or if it's like you know just a, a passing moment in the hallway and you're on the way to a meeting and you ask someone and then all of a sudden you know you get an answer but you can't take the time to sit and listen with them it may not be the, mo the the right moment to ask. Still ask, but maybe at a slightly different time, maybe later that day. Uh, be prepared. Remember that you won't have all the answers and that's okay. No qualifications are needed to ask, are you okay? All you need to know is that there are resources there and some places like areyouokay.org.au can help you find them easily alongside the person you're trying to help. Listening is one of the most important things you can do. It can be difficult for someone to talk about personal struggles and they might be emotional, embarrassed or upset. So understand that you're likely, like there is a chance that you will need to deal with those emotions from coming from them. Uh, picking your moment. Have you chosen somewhere relatively private and informal? Not like in the middle of a meeting in front of a whole bunch of people or like during an interview. Oh, excuse me. If you're having the conversation online, try to have it on private channels. Take it to the DMs. Uh, what time will be good for them to chat? Ideally, try and put si try to put aside 30 minutes uh, so the conversation isn't rushed. You might find that while playing a game or doing an activity you enjoy together are good times to chat because they're open. They're enjoying their time with you and they're, you know, in that kind of space where maybe they'll be more open to it. If they can't talk when you approach them, suggest another time to have a conversation. Don't just kind of go, okay, no worries. Act
actually saying, okay, no, that's fine. Maybe we can talk later. Do you want to you catch up in a couple of hours? Or do you want to catch up tomorrow? Or something like that. Definitely helpful. Uh, it might be more comfortable for the person to not be face-to-face. -face. So consider chatting with the video off if you're doing a voice chat. Voice chat's often a, a good choice over text chat because, you know, things can be misconstrued. Sometimes things take a while to type out. All that kind of stuff. Better to have a... A conversation via voice if you can if you can and uh, yeah let them let them leave the webcam off if they need to yeah this is just like so I'm, I'm reading this from uh, a guide for gamers so you know how to ask are you okay and this is just one of like so so many of the resources that are available if this doesn't suit your particular situation maybe there's someone at work or maybe there's someone in your family that you've been thinking hmm they meet a lot of those criteria, I'm concerned now. Um, there may be a better resource for you in terms of like tips on, you know, this is talking about online chat and during a game you're playing together and stuff like that. It may, there may be a different resource that has more appropriate tips for this, your particular circumstance. So feel free, feel free to jump on their website. Everything's free on there and find a guide that maybe fits your situation. Because it is really important. Loved ones are important. worth investing the time for them. IOK's advice is also sound. Biggest drain I didn't account for when I became a manager was monitoring and talking about how people were and what was going on with them. Yeah, absolutely, Desir, absolutely. Like, manage, like, this <laughs> one of the reasons I will never be a manager, but it's, um, it, it takes a really special kind of person to be able to do that well. A lot of people do it and they're not particularly good at it, but, like, it is, it is a thing. It is a big thing because people take sick leave. People people take, uh, you know, bereavement leave. People take all sorts of types of leave. And sometimes they tell you why. And sometimes that's a hard conversation to have because, you know, it's how, how do I respond to this conversation? And Are You Okay can help with that. It's not just tools for, you know, your average folk. It can also be absolutely helpful in a management scenario as well. I'm so glad to hear that you found them useful to see. That's wonderful. It's wonderful. Amazing, though, in their advice and resources. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, which is why I agreed to help fundraise for them. Like, you guys know me. I don't tend to throw my weight behind. Well, not that I have much weight, but still. I don't tend to throw what little weight I have behind something I don't believe in. It's, yeah, it's very much, very, very much a um, an important resource to have. And although it's an Australian website, I think that a lot of the advice they give is global. Some of the like lifelines and, and hotlines and stuff that you can call, maybe they're not global, but um, the advice about how to talk to people and stuff like that is absolutely applicable in almost any situation. Maybe there are some cultures where some of the advice bre like breaches cultural norms or something, but for the most part, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, I don't know how well I do it, but I've gotten some great feedback. So I'm rolling with it. Absolutely. And that look, I've got to say, that's exactly how I feel. Uh, obviously, it's a very different situation. Um, I'm not a manager. Uh, but this whole stream thing, um, I had a DM a couple days ago asking for advice and approaching sponsors. Because they felt I was successful and doing well and wanted to know wanted to know if I could help them achieve some similar and I was like <laughs> and then I kind of sat and thought about it I'm like oh hang on no wait I am or oh, no <laughs> so obviously I provided as much help as I could I wrote oh, I wrote walls of text but anyway um it's it's you wing it you do the best you feel that you can you do a bit of research and you you give you you give as much as you can of yourself and then you just see how it goes. It's like a lot of this stuff, there are no standard operating procedures, you know? Like that you can't really, like if someone comes in and tells you, um, look, I, I need to take some bereavement leave because a family member has passed away. You don't have five minutes to go digging around in your drawer for the how to interact with employees handbook and then flip to the page where it says employee requests bereavement leave and then read them the script. Like you can't. There's no, that's not, you can't do that. You've just got to wing it. You've got to treat them like a human <laughs> and do the best you can and then go from there. If you get feedback, you implement the feedback and you do it again the next time. Hopefully it doesn't happen for a long while, but it does. It, it happens. That's what humans do. They are want to die. So um, 
you know, it's it's a thing. But yeah, no, it's uh, all you can do is the best you can do and just constantly be learning, I think. I just think I heard Jas woohoo and I'm concerned. Um. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a TEDx video you should watch sometime. Time for it, no. Uh, it's about lollipop moments. I'm sure you've given a lot of people a lollipop moment. I know I've had at least one. I have n Is there, like, a, a brief explanation of what it is? Um, I could probably, like, if it's... If I don't have to see it, I could probably listen to it while I do housework. Um. <laughs> multitask. Uh, but do you... I have no idea what a lollipop moment is. Jas, there's death involved. Look, probably, yeah. I don't know if he's still- he was playing Oxygen Not Included before, so maybe he killed his dupes. Um, but, like, yeah, look, I'm concerned. Um, absolutely. It's been to you. Maybe you're like, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like, the sort of stuff that people say a brand saved their life. Oh. Really? I don't think I've done that. Goodness. I mean, I like, I know people have told me and I know that I've brought some like much needed distraction in times of need and stuff like that, but I don't think I've like saved a life. That's I didn't know they were helping in a huge way, but did got you. Okay. Why is it called a lollipop moment? But yeah, what what was the what was the um uh, reasoning behind the choice of lollipop as the word? It, it's not important. I'm just curious. Dramatic, some sort of prominent. Oh, okay, got you, got you. All right, I understand. So, so it's like somebody saying, like, I was I was really worried about going into raids because I was always really afraid that people would yell at me and that I'd screw up and blah, 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 blah. But because you've been talking so much about how chill it is and, and talking about perky pugs and stuff like that, I finally made my first dive into a raid and it was really fun and I loved it. I'm doing another one on the weekend. That kind of a thing. Like, not obviously not nearly as dramatic as saving a life, but like that kind of a you've, you've made a, a change in someone's life without realizing until they tell you. Okay, okay. So it involves giving someone a lip. Okay, understood. That's cute. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes, I know I've done that. So, because <laughs> that's, that's literally what someone told me. But yeah, that's super cool though. I love that there's a word for it. That's beautiful. Yeah, and that, those are the moments that always make me kind of, like, you know, you, your chest feels a little tight and you just kind of like, it's the reason why you do it, you know? Yeah, okay, we're just hanging out and playing games and having fun and whatever, but if there's even a slight improvement in somebody's life, then I'm over the moon about it. That's super cool. like it. Made a big difference in someone's life without knowing, however small it may seem. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Beautiful. I like that like that. Now I want to take lollipops with me to PAX to give to people. <laughs> I have enough stuff to sort though. I have enough things to do. Lord. Although chances are there's probably, no, I can't, I wouldn't, I don't think they'd let me take in a big ass tub of lollipops to PAX anyway. They'd probably confiscate it or make me check it in the baggage thing. Part of my leadership program is, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I think, honestly, I think everyone has that effect on someone. You, you, you may never know that you ever had that effect, but I reckon like every single person has affected someone like that at some point in their lives. It's impossible to not affect the world that you live in, in some way. Hello, Cookie, welcome back. Grab them with some. <laughs> Not sure they'll be allowed to. That's all right. No, <sighs> you could always buy a big bucket of them once you're there. I could, but it'd probably be cheaper from Amazon. Actually, no. There's um. 
like Daiso and stuff. Although I don't think they do things of lollipops. I think they do more like snacky things and stuff. I was more um I was more concerned instead of uh not not airport security taking them off me. I was afraid that PAX security wouldn't because like you have to when you've got your like cosplay weapons and stuff like that, you've got to take them to a special booth to have them checked over and make sure there's no moving parts and things like that. And then um like uh if there's stuff that's too sharp or too whatever, um you've got to check it in like the coat like the the cloakroom kind of deal i feel like if i was taking a big bucket of food in with me they'd probably make me check it um at, cl at the cloakroom because like i'm not sure that i'd be allowed to take i know there was a thing where you couldn't take in like water bottles and stuff i'm pretty sure i remember sculling my um rather warm chai latte in 2019 because I hadn't finished it by the time we got to the... It was day one, all right? I was there before the doors opened, which is shocking for me. When a full face of makeup and everything, and I was dying. So I got, like, a, um, a ham cheese croissant and a chai latte to kind of... Yep. And... <laughs> and I didn't finish the latte before I got to the security points. They made me toss it, and I was very upset. <laughs> So I reckon they'd probably not let me take it in, but that's okay. I'm planning on having a couple of other bits and pieces to give away. I just have to actually order you them. You mustn't Ooh. let him lose. He'll kill us all. So loud. A name for the effect making difference through vulnerability, common experience, etc. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Work asked me at my performance review the other day if I was interested in moving higher. Same answer as always. No, thank you. Don't want to be a manager. Too much extra stress. What? See, for me, like, I'm... I've not really thought about those kind of levels of management before. For me, it was always, I don't want other people's work to determine my KPIs. Like, no. <laughs> no. Um, no. But uh, I'm also that kind of person, so that's fine. Actually, yeah, mine only for detracting from the food vendors. Yep, get Jess and bum bugs and holsters. Bum bags, okay, for under his jacket and stuff with bagels. Oh my god, bagels! I love bagels. I know they're not called bagels. I it's a thing. Just roll with it. Um, all right, so I am out of here. Comfortable sitting at Guru Trainer. Yes, beautiful. Love that apathy. I'm glad you're happy where you're at in your job. That's a really that's really important. So I'm I'm glad. My goods. Hide lollipops in your bra. <laughs> no. Um, I am looking at, like, like badges and stickers and stuff, so I think that'll just have to do. I think that'll have to do. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to say it, but let's say it. People be weird, yo. Okay. Danara. You are Alliance. How many badges do you have now? 880. And what level are you now? 56. Beautiful. All right, and you are Alliance. So let's check out our hoardies and see where we're going next. So there's 55, 76, 49. So we're going to go with the 76 which will be Helena, Helena the Shaman. I love the transition manager to coach some regularly. Really good goals in some aspects. It's interesting talking to them. Yeah, I can imagine. Manager to coach. I imagine a coach would be like a teacher and the manager is kind of like a parent. Like, your manager is who you go to, like, really regularly, and, and you, you, in, you liaise with them a whole lot, and you, you're taken care of by them and stuff. But then you go to the coach to learn, like, a whole ton of stuff. And then the, the, the manager reinforces the learning once you get back there, and so it's like a, like a teacher-parent relationship. <laughs> in a way, in a small way. Ah, oh dear. Great day. I am, Sika. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Those cookies. Hey, 
I just had a, I had a thought. How are you going to get all that cheese through like customs and like not customs, but like on the plane and stuff? <laughs> I know I look like a wiggle. I love it. No, you just remind me of the only thing ever left. Um, no, um, well, it's spelled Helena, so like H A L A I N A. Uh, it was an automatically generated name. Uh, most of my alts. No, that's a lie. More, or about half my alts are randomly generated. And this is a high mountain tauren, and that was the name it generated for her. It's kind of cool, eh? Um, the random generator names are different depending on the race you have selected, which is very funky. Very, very funky. Uh, all right, time walking. This is Horde. If you want to join me, I am on a Horde character. Um, my pockets are good. I'll have them in a cooler bag with an ice brick and hold them on the plane. Oh, lovely. I just, like, I was like, I wonder if that, I know they wouldn't let you take them to Tassie, right? Like, to Tasmania, but, um, I guess on the mainland it should be okay. Oh, dear. I'm gonna have to take my VR headset in carry-on, like a laptop, and I'm probably gonna have to unpack it and explain to them what on earth it is. Um, but yeah, that'll be fine. Oh dear. Uh, not so wrong in my company. At least they listen to the agent's calls, provide advice and teachings on how they can improve. My role is to manage their KPIs, give some of the same coaching, then also manage all HR stuff, etc. Report them to it. Oh, cool. Okay, interesting. That's really interesting. When I did call center stuff, um, I had like all of my uh, uh, WhatsApp meetings, all of my like listening to the calls and and learning kind of meetings were done with. Um, like we had a coach, but then we also had our manager because we like, because it was just a big, we didn't have like a team that reported to a manager. Um, we, we were like a whole bunch of people who had like rotating rosters that never really lined up and all that kind of stuff. And then we had a group of managers who were also on a rotating roster, but each of them had their people that they were like, this is your first point of contact, but you can also just go to whoever's on duty at the time kind of thing. And then, um, uh, but this is, of course, a 24-7 call centre as well, so a little bit little bit trickier. Um, and so they would schedule our coaching sessions for when we were in the office and our manager was the one in charge that day. And so we'd both go and, and do that. And they'd do it during a handover period between two managers so that there was always still one available for everyone else to talk to. Um, yeah, I do not envy the rosterers. Yep. Um, I know it was a weird once-off after the shooting at Canberra Airport the other week, feeling Oh, goodness. I didn't know about that. Far out. I, Jesus. No, I, I totally... That's that's valid, Seeker. That's totally valid. What a complete. Wow, like nearly a month ago. Holy cow. Bizarre incident. Yeah, that's, you're not wrong. That is a bizarre incident. Um, That is so weird. Like, my God, that's so weird. Um, yeah, no one was hurt. It looks like um, uh, it was discharged into the roof and it was outside the security checkpoint. As well, makes sense. They would have found it going through the security checkpoint, right? I'd like to hope, but far out. That's super weird. 
somebody in a bad place. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really weird. Yeah. Look, um, I know, th like, this is a really, really good time. Just sitting there afterwards. Yeah. Um, there are some thoughts that come to mind that I'm not going to mention today, um, or probably ever. Uh, but this is a really good time to say, like, if you are having thoughts of self-harm or, or self-destruction or, or whatever it happens to be, there is help. There is help out there. It is very easily accessible and we are more than happy to get you in contact with people. We can send you links and we can provide phone numbers and we can do all that kind of stuff if you need it. There is help out there and, and it is very, very accessible. Um, so... Yeah, please, if you need it, areyouok.org.au is a fantastic place to start for resources and, and helplines and all that kind of stuff. A fantastic place to start. Um, yeah, good to reach out and get support. Absolutely, wholeheartedly. Thank you so much, Jeff, for dropping that link in chat. There you go. For anyone who is lurking and feeling uncomfortable, you can click those links in chat without having to say a word. That's why I keep spelling out the URL as well, just in case people don't want to trigger a thing because it means that they'll be talking in chat. You are totally fine to stay lurking. Those links are in chat for you to very easily click and follow right now. Uh, if nothing else, is mental health channel just called Venting. Professional help is at your fingertips online. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, keeping in mind that the mental health channel in the Discord is very much for venting. None of us are qualified, even if we were, none of us are your mental health professional. Um, and what we can do is listen and help you find resources. That is, that is what that is there for, for people who are feeling strong enough in a particular day to be able to help those who aren't that day. Um, Mikocha, Silva, Bue, and Kim, congratulations to all of you on your bonus stuff. Well done. Should look at the donation link. Ah, well, ep exclamation tiltify will get you the donation link. And there's also a QR code up there that you can scan. Super easy if you've got your mobile device on you. Up to you, depending on what you, which you'd rather do. Um, thank you, Seeker, also for the lifeline link. That's a fantastic one as well. Definitely. Seeking help is also never a weakness. Seeking help is ex exceptionally brave. And I agree wholeheartedly. The hardest step is to open yourself up and become vulnerable enough to talk to someone, to tell them what's going on. It's the hardest step. I promise you, once you get that out, once you take that load off your shoulders, the rest of it comes easier. It's still not easy. It's not easy to get through it, but it is possible. You are capable. And the hardest part is the first step. <clears throat> uh, if you are in a bad space, it is worth getting in touch with a health provider to discuss your personal circumstances. If you are located in Australia, mental health plans are available through GPs and can be a good first step to accessing support services in your area. While the people in chat are not professionals, or if they are, are not able to respond in a professional capacity in this forum, we are absolutely always here for event discussion or support, for sure, for sure. Only piece of advice, other than seeking professional tailored support, is to be kind with yourself. Reaching out for help is a first step and incredibly brave of you. Seeker, it, like, you just, you rock at this. Look at you go. <laughs> ah, amazing. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, Jeff. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your donation. So generous of you. Uh, let's pop those down as well, and then we'll jump back to here. I'm not sure that I'm going to get a queue in time, but we'll see. We'll see. Hydrate! I'm going to hydrate with my bubble tea. Oops. Mental health care plans from your GP and Oz are free to access and make appointments with psychologists and Medicare rebateable. They do. They do. Um, something that a lot of people don't know, you, you start out with, I can't remember if it's four or six, but you have the four or the six and then you go back to the GP and they give you a referral for the remaining four or six. So you get a total of 10 and that's per calendar year. 
10 sessions per calendar year. And you, on top of that, get 10 group sessions per calendar year as well, not replacement of, in addition to. So one mental health care plan, MHCP, um, will get you 10 solo sessions and 10 group sessions in a calendar year. Not everyone is comfortable with group settings and that's totally understandable. I, I get it. Uh, but some people may get to the point where they are, it is helpful to, to hear other people's uh, perspectives. And even if they don't talk in group, they may still learn from, from listening and that can be helpful as well. Um, so especially like a lot of people may even feel more intimidated if they're in a one-on-one -on -one session. And it's uncomfortable because they're being looked at and they're being expected to speak and it's sort of whereas in a group session you don't have to speak you can just sort of sit back and, and understand you know that you're not alone and that there are others who are going through things just like you are and, and maybe that will help you understand how you can start speaking up and stuff like that so yeah it's it's a fantastic fantastic thing to take advantage of and um since COVID, the mental health care plan can be used for telehealth appointments too. Um, there was talk that it was going to be temporary. I don't know if they've decided to make that permanent, uh, but I can confirm with you that I have a mental health care plan and I see my psychologist via telehealth. I've never been to their office. I don't know where their office is. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is currently something that is accessible via telehealth if you're somewhere that's a little more remote or you don't think there's someone nearby that will suit your needs. They don't have to be nearby. Um... Um, they did during the height of COVID extended to 20 counts. Oh, did they really? <gasps> I didn't know that. Oh, that's super cool. I, I had no idea. I'd, I I didn't get to using that many, which is good for me. And I mean, it means also that there's more availability for others who did need it more than I did, which is fantastic. But that's very cool. I don't know if it's gone back either because I didn't know what had happened. Thank you for that information. I appreciate it. Next name is who pays oh my god. A lot of employers also partner with an offer EAP employment uh, employee assistance programs worth looking into. Absolutely. Um, so an EAP provider um, often, not always, always check with your own employer, but often applies to not only the employee but their immediate family members as well. Um, I know that when my grandmother passed away. Um, I was given the pamphlet for the EAP services and was also told that my partner, um, who was a live-in partner, not a husband or, or anything like that, uh, but a long-term live-in partner, was also welcome to take advantage of the service if he needed to, too. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a lot of a lot of places will do it for immediate family members as well, um, because often when the employee is going through something the employee's immediate family need to support them through that as well. And they need, you know, carers need care too. Um, so it's definitely worth checking into that. Um, and a lot of those, in fact, I'm pretty sure all of those are 100% confidential. They are not allowed to share your information or anything you're going through with your employer. Um, the only thing that they are allowed to do and that they can do and usually do do is um, they ask like which broad department you're under. And if there's only like three people in your department, they'll go a step above that. They'll they'll take like, it, it has to be a department of a minimum number of people. Uh, and then they report that back as like a demographics thing, as in we like, we got X many calls from department A and Y many calls from department B, just so that like the employee, like the employer can sort of use that to figure out like, hey, is something going wrong in department B if all of a sudden we've got a massive spike in calls, um, which can be really handy information for them to have, but it is not personally identifiable. And you can always ask the provider before you, like you call them and you can say, what do you give to, like, what are you gonna tell them? What, what are you gonna tell them? How does it affect me, blah, 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 before you even say a word about who you are or where you come from. Um, there's always that information available to you. But I think it is important to know that there is information that can be handed over and how that will affect you because that's, you know, it's important to have. Build that trust. 
Yeah, also should always be confidential and no refer back to your workplace, companies extendable to immediate family. Yeah, there are there are a lot that do. Um, I'm just not sure if that's everyone. Like, I don't know if you have to give it to everyone or if that's just a choice that some employers make. So that's why I said to check. Um, or without, if you don't want to ask them, usually on your company's intranet, like if you've, if you've got a, a, a desk job or whatever where you can access, you know, internal documents, like operating procedure manuals or that kind of stuff on there somewhere will be the EAP manual. There will be a brochure on there with information, the phone number, all that kind of stuff. And you'll be able to access that without having to tell anyone that you want that information, uh, which is also important. Because sometimes we are comfortable with, with, you know, reach the point where we're comfortable talking to a professional, but I do not want to talk to my boss. Like, <laughs> you know, that's, and that's valid. Totally valid. Uh, being counselling slash psychology, I should think it's 100% confidential by the demographics, like you're saying. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking as well. Um, but it is always, like, if you ever have any doubts, ask. Because that way, if you get that information from the source, that hopefully will help settle your mind as to what exactly can be shared. Don't know how I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's all well and good saying, yeah, this is how it works, but, you know, asking them directly yourself, definitely. You know, sometimes it just puts your mind at ease, you know? Nothing wrong with that at all, especially when you're already in a vulnerable place. Always worth um, getting something, some information solidified. Right, time to jump on classic views. Mount, yes. Yes. Get your mount! Yep, absolutely, go get it! Excuse me. I don't know, yes! I wasn't playing and trying. Gotta do it now, yes, absolutely. Look, they're, they're not bad at what they do, are they? Probably. I mean, there's also, like, there's the amount you get from playing, like, three Hearthstone games and stuff like that. You, you, there's just so many little things where they've done, like, crossovers. It's really nice. I'm actually going to screeching my luck. It's going to my belly in this dungeon. Yep. Yep. Tip number one. Take the t hit talents in the Unholy Tree first. Misses are a thing in Classic. They are. Hit rating is a thing. I remember doing gems and, and stuff for hit hit rating, uh, and I think I needed 17% from memory. I needed 17% from my gear to make sure I didn't miss. But, but if I was like 1% off, or there was a certain, when you got to a certain number, if you socketed a gem that put you over by X amount, you lost DPS. And it was more worth missing occasionally, missing, you know, half a percent of the time in exchange for the crit you could take instead or whatever. And that's why we had Roar. Tell me when that point was. Hey! Ding, 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 ding. Inspirational, I get it. No, no, I know, I know. But it's just, I think it's really funky the way they do that kind of stuff. And how effective it is. Like... Found some unpop bubble wrap. Fantastic, Durin. Pop that baby. Ah, uh, the armor pin days of MM High. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Zandalari slime. What happened? Ah, oh, let me <laughs> let me fire. We'll lock you. Oh, I'm glad I got goosebumps. Memories. Yes. Thank you, Sink. Much appreciated. <laughs> There are there are so many memories in classic. Holy cow, it's kind of full on. Obey me. Kill them at once. I'm concerned.
but I had cookies. Well, <laughs> I'm sure past Desir likes you a lot to have gotten you cookies. And future Desir is cursing at you for not letting him have cookies. Unless you leave some behind. These are eaten, of course they are, Seiko, of course. Just not great at baking anyway. <laughs> the whole packet of Chips Ahoy Chewy cookies beside. Just haven't felt like them yet. Fair. Fair enough. Ah, oh, Mrs. Fields cookies are my like hands down favorite by such a long shot. My god. So good. Alright, so who is this? Helena. Helena has. 985 badges. Helena also dinged and is now 57. Which puts me at 69.44%, which puts me up to date. We've got five days with progress today. That's not bad. Huh. Although that was all like one dungeon for each of them and they all dinged, which is not going to be the case consistently. Some of them will have, a, like, they'll, some of them will do a dungeon and not ding. Um, because of their, like, percentage of what level they've got so far. But, like, that's not, that's not bad. Especially when it's, like, a speedy... Ah, oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Time walking spam is still fun. It is. It is. The The waiting around between them is not as fun, but um, the dungeons themselves are very fun. Five days of progress. Pretty darn impressive. I agree, Sink. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Um, I'm not going to get another one in. I'm not going to have time to squeeze another one in. Um, let's have a quick chat about how to start a conversation and then maybe we'll clock off from there because this is, that's the important thing, right? Sometimes it's really, sometimes you don't know how to, how to actually ask. Um, so starting a conversation and there's, there's four steps here. <laughs> There are four steps here. So the first one is to ask, are you okay? Be relaxed. Help them open up by asking questions like, how are you going? Or what's been happening? Or I've noticed that you're not quite yourself lately. How are you traveling? And then you can ask the pointed question. Like you can actually ask the, the question, are you okay? Um, but yeah, what, like sometimes warming it up a little can be helpful. Make an observation. Uh, mention specific things that have made you concerned about them, like I've noticed that you seem really tired recently, or I've noticed you haven't been online as often as usual. How are you doing? Uh, so, you know, instead of being like, you exhibit the sign of this, just, you know, you've, you've noticed something. Are you, are you okay? Is everything all right? And it may just be like, yeah, I just, yeah, I've been sleeping like crap because I've been overnight construction three meters from my freaking window. Ah, right, okay, fair enough. And then, you know, you can proceed to complain about construction. But it's, be, of course, be prepared that there's going to be a hard answer that you, yeah, that you're going to have to then listen to. Listen with an open mind. Take what they say seriously. Don't interrupt or rush the conversation. If they need time to think, try and sit patiently with the silence. Encourage them to explain. 
If they get angry or upset, stay calm. Don't, don't take it personally. And let them know you're asking because you're concerned. Um, I think a big one there with it, take what they say seriously. Like, they, they may have different values to you. They may have missed out on ordering a limited edition thing because there was something, you know, some, some internet hiccup happened and, and they didn't get to order a limited edition what's it for their hobby. And that's hit them really hard. Maybe that's not, maybe it's been a whole lot of little things that have built up over time and this is just the straw that's broken the camel's back, but maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe this is re this has really hit them that hard. Even though it doesn't matter to you, even though it's not one of your values, it's very serious for them. And they wouldn't be telling, like, they wouldn't be saying that unless it was, so take them seriously. Um... Don't interrupt or rush the conversation. Like, let them stop talking, leave a bit of a pause, and then say something gently, calmly. And that's one of the big, you know, stay calm and don't take it personally. When people are, like, when you try to crack open a shell like that, it's going to get a bit messy sometimes. And so somebody getting upset or, or you know, like, like, it's not because of you. It's because they're struggling and, and maybe they're getting frustrated with themselves, unable to find the words. And that's, and you know, uh, if they need time to think, sit patiently with the silence. Maybe they're trying to put the words in the right order. Maybe they're trying to find the words to explain what's going on in their head. We don't always think in English. Sometimes we think in, in n n like, not a language. Feelings can't always be put into neat word-labeled boxes. Uh, so let them take their time. Uh, and after the conversation... Three, encourage action. Ask them, where do you think we can go from here? You know, give them an opportunity. Like, what do you need? Ask, what would be a good first step we can take? Ask, what do you need from me? How can I help you right now? Sometimes that might be a hug. Sometimes it might be, you know, a pat on the shoulder. Sometimes it might just be a completely silent walk around the building to just sort of chill off before they go back to work. Um, ask, has anything or anyone helped in the past? Because sometimes you can go back and repeat that, right? So if, if you know, going and visiting their parents over the weekend helped, or, or a, se a session of gaming with some of their closest friends, maybe that helped. Line it up. See if you can do that. Suggest they do something that they know helps them relax or brings them joy, e.g. go for a walk, see a movie, have a bath, swim, etc. Uh, once they've opened up, encourage them to access support or do or to do something that might lighten the load. So, you know, if, if they're frustrated with a particular task and there are people who can do parts of that task for them and lessen the load, do that, suggest it. Take on that, like, if, if you're in a position that you can do something for them to take it off their list, of, you know, their to-do list, then offer to do that. Don't just do it. I would probably recommend against just doing it without their consent. Um, but, you know, saying, hey, would you like me to, t like, I know how to do this. Do you want me to do that for you? Sometimes it can help. Uh, and of course, yeah, encouraging them to access support. Very, very important. Uh, and good options for action might include talking to family, a trusted friend, their doctor, or another qualified health, health professional. Because remember, you don't, there's no qualification needed for you to ask, are you okay? But sometimes the next steps do require a qualification. And that's okay too. That's okay too. Handing them over to a professional is all right and valid and understandable. Uh, and step number four is the really big important one that a lot of people seem to forget. And it's check in. Remember to check in a few days later to see how the person is doing. Ask if they've found a way to manage the situation. If they haven't done anything, keep encouraging them. And remind them that you're always there if you need it, if they need a chat. Hi, the sun well. Ah, Beck, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Two months. Holy cow. I'm having a fantastic stream and I am doing okay. Thank you so much for asking. I'm a bit stressed and a bit tired. Um, but all of the things that are making me stressed and tired are positives. Uh, I'm in a rather rare situation at the moment where I can't actually think of anything that sucks in my life at the moment, which is like, that's huge for me. That's a really, really big thing for me. So I am, although I am tired and, and like 
afraid to look at my calendar. Um, <laughs> I am okay. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? Are you okay? Um, right. Okay. So if they haven't done anything, keep encouraging them and remind them that you're always there if they need to chat. Understand that sometimes it can take a long time for someone to be ready to see a professional. Try to reinforce the benefits of seeking professional help and trying different avenues. So encouraging them to, you know, you do it, take another bath and, and have another gaming session and, and go out for dinner or whatever it happens to be that, that helps them relax. But keep on, you know, don't, don't bang on it, don't nag, but a, a gentle reminder that professional help is there and it's very easily accessible. Is, is something that's a good thing. I mean, in Australia, at least. I know in other countries it may be a slightly different circumstance or very different circumstance, but here in Australia, it is very, very easy to access mental health support if you need it. Um, so yeah, just, uh, yeah, understanding that it can take a long time for someone to be ready, that's like, that's a big thing. This person has chosen to, you know, to, open, to uh, open up to you and that is hugely important. And one of the things to be careful of is not making them feel like you're palming, you're trying to palm them off to a professional. You are there, but there's only so much you can do and only so much you can handle. If you are checking in regularly with someone who you are trying to encourage to see a professional, please seek some help for yourself as well. Carers need caring for. And that's the situation you're putting yourself in. You are becoming a carer in some capacity. You are checking in with a person, making sure that they are okay and you need time to decompress and debrief and, and to, to not off, offload feels like the wrong word, but it's about, it's, it's about right. You know, it's, it's important. You've got to take care of yourself again with the, with the cup analogy. You can't fill somebody else's cup with water if they're thirsty, if your cup is empty, you need to take the time to make sure that your cup is filled before you can continue helping somebody else. It's it's very important to take care of yourself. Burnout sucks. <laughs> Burnout sucks. Um, sometimes it is easiest to do a what have you been up to? Exactly, absolutely. And that can also kind of like, if, if you've usually asked them that kind of question, like what have you been up to? And then one time you ask and it's like, oh, well, you know, nothing much or, or you know, this or whatever. And they don't show any passion about what like that can be another sign for you to kind of trigger like okay I'm gonna ask another question here uh empathy over sympathy listen and try to understand without imposing your experiences and beliefs on this situation for sure for sure and that can be really really difficult especially for those of us myself included um who almost always enter a problem solving mind space when approached with a problem um we want to fix it we want to help. We want to make them feel better. Uh, and it's really, really difficult to turn that off. It takes practice, but it's also really difficult from their perspective to open up to somebody and then get nothing back. But have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried this? Have you tried what about that? N no. Sometimes you just need to take a sec, sort your own head out. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do to help? You know, it's a, it's, it's hard, not gonna lie, but it's worth it. Oh, it's good to hear I'm okay-ish, but okay, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear you're doing okay. And I hope things improve so that it's better than okay-ish as soon as possible, Beck. Um, we all have only so many spoons, make sure Excuse me, you keep some for yourself. Absolutely, just say wholeheartedly agree. And there can be a, that sounds stressful. How's that sitting with you if someone has indicated a not great situation? Absolutely, agreed. Hey, Ophid, welcome on in. Fancy seeing you here. How are you going today? Hope you're doing well. Oh boy, we've had some really awesome conversations today. I'm, I'm really like, I'm so proud of this community. Like so, so proud of this community that We've generated this place where people feel safe enough, firstly, to actually talk about this kind of stuff. Because even with the anonymity of a username and no camera and no idea of who you are or where you are, it can still be really difficult to talk about who you are and what you're going through. Uh, so the fact that we've curated a, a space here 
where people feel comfortable to share their experiences is just such a beautiful thing. And the fact that others are, are open and listen, like willing to listen and, you know, share their own experiences in return and kind of, you know, trade advice and tips, you know, to the extent that we can as non-professionals. Um, it's just, you guys rock. <laughs> you guys rock. Absolutely rock. And I cannot wait to meet so many of you at PAX. Holy cow. It's going to be, oh, nope. Okay. These are new lashes and this one keeps popping off because it's not like the shape of my eye yet. Look, it's, it's, it's fine. If you know lashes, then you know, but it's fine. <sighs> I think I need some sleep. <laughs> I think I need a rest. Um, how did we, where did I, where's my overview? Oh my goodness. How are we? Hundred and is that a wait? Hang on, is that maybe I need to refresh the bars? Not an amazing beauty. Oh, Finn, you have no idea. They are ridiculously awesome, like in every every way. <laughs> I I adore them. Um, I know of lashes. Yeah, it, it it's so the the new lashes I've grabbed. They're much much fuller and thicker and lots of fluff. Um, and so the, the band that it's all attached to is really, really thick. And so it doesn't like wiggle. It's not as flexible as the ones I've been using. So I'm not as used to it. And so I put glue on it and then like put it on. And now it's kind of, because it was like straightened out like this on my eye, but in the packet, it was like this. So it's kind of, it, the middle bit is sort of like popping off so that it can do the, yeah, it's just, it's a pain, but it's fine. It's fine, because I'm gonna take them off in five minutes. Um <laughs> oh, Rogan, stupid nice in there. Oh, thank you. It did get bumped. It did get bumped. Um, we were sitting at a hundred and now we've raised a hundred and fifty dollars, which is fantastic. So so good. Thank you so much to everyone who contributed. Much appreciated. Such a generous community, you guys. So awesome. And there's the timer, beautiful. Oh no, no, you posted that, never mind, that was a command. Ha! I'm very good at this. Brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so this will be, this is our last battle. That was perfect timing, love that. Uh, congratulations to Duck, Stole, Heldrick, and Infamous on your bonus stuff. Well done, we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, let's see, is there anyone else Live with the are you okay tag? Or was I the only one using that? Um Nope, there are a few. Perfect. Alright, let's ooh. Let's go here. I reckon I reckon this will be a fun one. And I know this game as well. Ah! Oh my goodness! Was that what was the hang on a second? Let me just dabbling! Thank you so much for that last moment contribution. That is so so generous of you. Thank you so much. And I'm sure Are You OK will be thrilled with it as well. My goodness. Thank you. You're ridiculous. All the Fiamma hugs. Yes, absolutely. All right. We are going to do... We're going to do a raid. All right. We're going to... So I've not... We've not raided this person before. Um, but they have a follower goal. And they are they are also fundraising for Are You OK. And they're playing Spiritfarer. Um, Ranga Girl Nads. We're gonna go say hi. Oh, thank you so much, Mara. Thank you for being here and supporting the cause. I really appreciate it. Lovely. You'd be ready to break someone. Yes, we like to we like to break people with happiness. It's a good fun time. All right, so let's pop this in here. Let's 
grab this one and then we're going to do this and I'm going to tell you real quick. Oh, there's, there's going to be some changes. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Sunday. Um, it is Dragonflight beta, but I don't think there's anything we can actually do without spoilers. So we might just go straight into leveling with that. Monday, we have a sponsor stream with Final Fantasy fourteen. Wednesday and Friday will probably be leveling next week, but we'll see how we go. It's going to be good fun. Um, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype email, either because you're not subscribed or because you don't have... Uh, you haven't unlocked it using your channel points. You can still copy paste the entire message, delete Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it into Ranga Girl Nadz's chat when we get there. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Ah, oh, next weekend is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, it's fine. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, follow me on social media. All the love. Bye.